just calling to say I... What's going on, all my bros and hoes of different area codes with swollen lip notes and tiny jokes? David Potter here, the big dick band of all combat sports. Here tonight, bring you Devin Hanley taking on Ryan Garcia live here on MMA Weekly. Thank you very much for joining me, all you legends in the comments. Oh my goodness, we're already starting. I hope he's brings uh, he's beans the beer in the ring with him. I hope so too. Bro, Ryan Garcia is a fucking animal. Everyone talk about uh, CTE, and everyone talk about him going off the hinge. Yo, I love off the hinge, Ryan Garcia. More entertaining, and he's good for the sport, too. I mean, he, he backs it up when he gets in the ring, even though coming off a loss in his championship fight. I love Ryan Garcia. I love me some Ryan Garcia, especially when he's on social media. Completely fucking shit face. I mean, he does, a, he does a bump of coke, and he just goes on fucking uh, Twitter and rouses his brains off. Buttman Christopher Santiago, what's going on, brother? How you doing, you fucking legend? Sex Machine, yo, what's going on, man? How you doing? James Painting Jap, I hope Garcia gets slept. And that's the general consen uh, con con uh, consensus right now, is everyone is hoping for the downfall of Ryan Garcia and for him to lose two fights in a row. But you know what? I don't, I don't see that happening that way. I think Ryan Garcia actually is going to win this fight and start taking the the proper steps to getting back up the ladder to a championship fight so we'll uh we'll see what happens stevie wonder mikhail rodriguez i want to see henley's pop versus hopkins lol what's going on man ryan garcia with a w for ken wa and yay oh my goodness and buttman says he's chilling i bet you're chilling you fucking legend james painting jack you think he's gonna pay 1.5 million for being three pounds over i don't think so man especially when he's the name that's gonna be driving the event who's winning chat uh, skill of more 816. Yeah, so far we have the uh, the undercard we're still playing right now. And I think it's going to be stopped right now because this guy has a cut that is deeper than my ex-girlfriend's vagina. So I think this fight is actually going to be stopped right now. W Stream, Lady more. what's going on, you fucking legend? Robert Adana, no reason to miss weight. I mean, you know, like, you can. You can miss weight, especially if you're Ryan Garcia. I mean, Ryan Garcia it right now is... He, the, the entire name of this event is riding on Ryan Garcia. Let's be honest here. Devin Hanley, no one's heard of Devin Hanley unless you're a bo boxing diehard. All the casuals watch are like, Ryan Garcia fighting somebody. You know, like, the, Ryan Garcia is literally driving the pay-per-view revenue and driving the streams to this event. So, you know, I don't blame him for being, uh, uh, being three pounds over. So, you know, I must be constipated because I don't give a shit. Dixon Butts, I waxed my carrot to Macy Barber's feet. <laughs> oh, W comment, baby. Well done. Ah, oh, troll singing the songs of my people. Thank you very much for joining us, you fucking legends. El Capitan Nicholas lies. Kim War and then Garcia is a G. Yeah, I like Garcia, especially when he's coked out and fucking on on Twitter, just saying his random CTE bullshit. You know, I love Ryan Garcia, especially on social media. He entertains me. I like it. Gets my dick hard. Went from six to midnight just talking about it. And let's just go down the comments as we wait for the main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to buy the pay-per-view. Kevin War, buy the, uh, buy the pay-per-view on Danzen. Make sure to buy that pay-per-view. Fight Man 3-6, B-Hop will, will sleep. Bill Hanley fast. All right, we'll see about that. Oh, my goodness. So many people in the comments. Oh, my God. Andrew Nats. Sup, goat? What's up, you fucking big dick Bennett? I bet you're surrounded by... Don't, by the way, for, for you, my friend, I remember you, Andrew, don't turn your swag, be sure to turn your swag off before bed because you're going to wake up drenched in bitches. I don't want you to drown in bitches, okay? I don't want to hear about a death 
you know, and I, you know, I, we, we want you to stick around. We want you to continue going on the stream. So please, you know, make sure to turn your swag off before bed. FZ Dave, who is Henley? Yeah, exactly. You know, Ryan Garcia is driving the revenue and driving pretty much this entire event. So he's allowed to miss weight by 30 pounds, three pounds. I don't, I must be constipated because I don't give a shit. He, he can miss weight by how much he wants because Ryan Garcia is, this is the Ryan Garcia show. Remember me, Big Dick Drew? Drew 4K, what's up, baby? How you doing? Zach the Ripper, how many more before the main event? I think this this main event, this co-main event is actually over with. So I think we're going to go right to the main event after an hour of talking because there's a lot of filler when it comes to these boxing events. It's not like MMA. It's not like the UFC where it goes from fight to fight to fight to fight and no uh, no drop whatsoever. You know, uh, I, I think we're going to have a bunch of talking as we uh, go to the co-main event. I mean, the main event of the evening. Edward Proctor, bro, are my comments muted? What's going on? Edward, I see your comments, baby. How you doing? A visual Vendetta, Henley looking weak as fuck. Yeah, I mean, I saw the weigh-ins, and I think Ryan Garcia is in rare form, uh, you know, especially uh, hitting on somebody's mom in the crowd. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I, I love I love coked out Ryan Garcia. Let's just completely just coke him to the gills and let, send him to the ring and let him just do his work. I mean, he's selling the sport of boxing. He's very, very entertaining. Um, who do I got? I'm not really too sure, to be honest with you. I mean, Ryan Garcia is a bad, bad mofo. You know, I like Gar Ryan Garcia. I've always had. Uh, Ken Fester said, Ryan is quicker, but Henley's a boxer to stay on the ropes and catch him. And Bektamir Maskunez actually just won the co-main event of the evening. And producer man, please check to see if this is the co-main event of the evening, because I don't want to have to talk more than, uh, than I have to. You know what I'm saying? That's why you pay me the big bucks. How's YouTube not taking us down? Because TJ reacts. We're fucking legends. That's why he hasn't taken us down. You know what I'm saying? All me and my trolls, all my bros and hoes in different area codes with swollen lip nodes and tiny chones. Of course they ain't taking down, baby. TJ reacts. I just came in this live. Well, the reason why that YouTube has not taken us down because I changed my name to Tampax. Hold some strings. And YouTube decided to keep this on, keep this running, so you and I can have a conversation about boxing. And we're actually going to have a poll that's going to be open up. I want you to rock the poll like some girl's going to rock my poll tonight. I want you to vote for who you think is going to win. Ryan Garcia versus Devin Henley. And we have 600 people, 600 legends right now joining us in the comments. Nobody. I love that you have the balls, bro. Thank you. I love you, man. I love you too, brother. In the guard, man. What's up, man? Jesus loves me. Kind of gay, but count me in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's going on? Okay, so, uh, no, we got one more fight. We have the WBC Intercontinental Super Lightweight title. Jesus Christ, are they, are they just, like, making up titles? Are they just pulling titles out of their ass just to say that they did? Uh, uh, Arnold Barboza Jr. versus Sean McComb. And then we have Ryan Garcia versus Devin Hanley. Man, Thanks, bro. I was looking everywhere for this, and I didn't want to pay. I got you, brother. Don't worry about it, baby. Dig some bucks. You're the man, sir. You have all the chicks. Oh, yeah. I know, baby. I know. Come on. Come on. Isaac Garaz. Bro, do you mind slowing down a bit? Uh, I'm not too sure about that, Stevie Wonder. Maybe. I'll think about it. Watching from Ireland from Shane Callahan. What's up, my friend? What's up from Ireland? And you got big bros, bro. Is it over? Yeah, the... Uh, the the third fight before the main event is actually over. Kind of gig was crazy from Kaylin A. <laughs> I'm just going to read comments and going to uh, the main event. And this is what I can't stand about boxing in the presentation of boxing. Shuri J, you're the real one. No, you're the real one, mofo. Alex, thanks for streaming this. Of course, baby. I got your back. Come on. What else am I going to do besides get pussy and, you know, get MC hammered? So right now they have filler. They're talking to Ryan Garcia right now backstage. And I... So I know a couple of executives. We actually had them on my podcast, Fight We're Alive on Amazon Prime. Number seven, somehow. People watched my ass. Can you believe that? Oh, my goodness. Fucking all my bros and hoes in different area codes. I can't believe people actually watched my ass. But, like, we're number seven right now on Amazon Prime's top 100 sports fan news shows in the world. But I actually talked about this. How, And we actually had the executive of Misfits and one of the executives from Danzen on the show. And I'm like, dude, you got to get rid of all this filler, man. You got to – with, with – so right now, right, they have an interview with Ryan Garcia talking right now. Just talking, you know? But you could fill that up with a fight and go right into the co-main event of the evening. But instead, we're getting commercials. We're getting filler. We're getting people talking. If 
I want to hear people talking, I would go on this and not pay $74.99 and just have people in the comments, people uh, people commenting, class participation. What, what the fuck is the selling point? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what the fuck is going to drive people to the pay-per-view if all they're going to do is talk, play videos, highlight videos? You could do that on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just never made sense to me. The presentation of boxing is way, way, way behind the scale. They need to improve. I mean, if people are going to pay, if you, if you expect the boxing consumer to pay top, top dollar, they, they, they want more for their efforts. And with all this filler, you can fill it up with two or three more banging fights because boxing has a plethora of talent. Why not push other fighters instead of having everything ride on the co uh, on the main event of the evening? You know what I'm saying? Bro, using clickbait. Uh, fuck you. Enrique Franco, real talk, brother. Jonathan Kino, is this legit? Absolutely, baby. 1,000 people joining us right now. 1,000 big dick bands joining us. DiFlanco, what's going on? How you doing? As we go to uh, the co-main event of the evening. And we have more talking. I hate this. And, and once again, I'm not going to be a dead horse. I'm not going to rip the legs off a dead spider, but... Yeah, all this filler, all this advertisements. If you want to pay for all this advertisements, I mean, you can, you're can. you better off going on YouTube or watching the replay. Good evening from Chicago. What's up, Chi-Town? How you doing holding it down? Tom K. Kusi, what's up, baby? How you doing? And producer man, come on. Bring your salary, man. Come on. Pop up with some comments so I can read them. Holy moly. Ken Kenye Jr., this is fake. This is so fake. Oh, my God. How do you get me a spoon so you can eat my ass? Come on. There are adults here. 1,000 adults, if you will, commenting about the fights that we're going to watch here tonight. Oh, my God. They're so offended. They're so fake. Oh, man. As we go to the co-main event of the evening, more filler, more talking right now. More uh, They're talking about um, Tyson Fury actually fighting for the Undisputed Championship. And Tyson Fury, I, I think, definitely lost that fight to uh, Francis Ngannou. But, of course, they screwed him, and he'll be fighting Uzek. Uh, who is 21 victories deep and undefeated? How's my day been? Been pretty good, man. Not even gonna, not even gonna lie. Pretty, pretty good. Are you fried, bro? It's 420, man, dude. So last weekend I was in Vegas, and this was for UFC 300. L literally fucking fried, MC Hamlet, and I was smashed when I was in Vegas. Oh my goodness, and I just moved to Vegas too. So, dude, I was completely fucking gone, especially for my birthday. But 420, I think I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna have some good times, you know. You know, smoke a some smoke a fat doobie and then uh, go look for some soft sixes. I I think that's on the uh, the the uh, on the menu right now. So after uh, definitely after this stream. Oh my goodness! So still talking, still more talking. I just talked. Oh my god! All my bros and hoes in different era codes. I just talked about how the filler is completely relentless, and I I had plenty of executives on this. You know to to talk about the filler, you know, and now we're finally getting to the fight where it's Aaron Barboza Jr. fighting against Sean McComb in the co-main event of the evening for the Intercontinental Super Lightweight title. If that even exists, I don't know why they're pulling titles out of their asses. If, if boxing really wants to be legitimate, you have to get the WBC, WBA, you got to get the rings all together and just create a universal world championship. Muhammad Ali saw the, saw the writing on the wall, and that's why he brought all three titles and he unified all three titles together. Mike Tyson was guilty of it too, unified all three titles. Lennox Lewis, all these great boxers, because they saw all these fucking promoters, too many cooks in the kitchen, fucking eliminate them. Just win every single championship and become the universal world champion. You know, and that, that's what they did. That's what all the great boxers do is they want to unify all the championships. Roy Jones Jr. did it. Fucking Pr Pris Nassim Hamed did it. All the boxers that I grew up watching did it. And here we go, going to the co-main event of the evening with Aaron Jr. taking on Aaron Barboza Jr. taking on a boxer I can't even name because they don't give enough marketing to the even the co-main event of the evening. They have it completely ride and completely reliant on the main event. But you know what? It's all good, baby. It's all good. And we have 1,200 big dick bands. By the way, by the way, rock the comments, rock the poll. Scott, what are we up to, Mr. Producer, on the poll of who they think is going to win between Ryan Garcia and Devin Henley? What are we up to, baby? Producer man. Unbelievable. 
On the road, trucking, International House of Pancakes belts, belt will be next. Next, Yeah, they're, they're pulling out belts and they're – because belts make the fighter as opposed to the fighter making the belt. This is, this is not the boxing that we grew up with, boys and girls, especially if you grew up in the 70s, 80s, 90s like I did. You know, they're expecting belts to drive the pay-per-views and belts to make the fighter. The fighter are not making the belts, and that's the problem. Oh, you're from Jersey too, my brother. I'm Bayonne, New Jersey. DeFranco, wait, what's up, man? That girl on the left, though. Seriously. <laughs> Juran, I can't even pronounce that name. Holy shit. Ryan for the win. Sambo, any links? And right now we have the walkout for the co-main event of the evening, which should be a good one. Jay, is this where we can watch the game? Someone please answer. Are you bullshitting? What's with the loop? Oh, Johnny Cole, Australia with love. What's up, man? How you doing, baby? Martin G. Right now, we're not at the main event. We are at the co-main event of the evening. NYC in the house. Fight Man 36. What's up, baby? How you doing? Joss Ken Barry. Ryan. Let's go, baby. Hanley for the win. He takes boxing seriously. Yeah. You know what? I, I think Ryan Garcia is going to win the fight. You know, that's, that's my personal assessment. That's my personal opinion. But we'll, we'll see, Stevie Wonder. We'll see about that. I mean, Ryan Garcia is fucking hilarious, though, especially when he's coked out of his mind, drunk from the gills, CTE, like, running wild, CTE a mania of running wild, and he's going on Twitter, going on Instagram, and going on all of the social media and just going fucking buck wild. Shit. Yo, so fucking remarkable. I love Ryan Garcia. I love me some Ryan Garcia. Big, big fan. Big fan of Ryan Garcia. Simbo, he's cool as fuck. Shut the fuck up. He's streaming. Yeah, come on, man. We're, we're, we're all talking. We're all having a conversation. I'm reading the comments. Come on, man. Don't be a boner drinker. Come on. We're going we're gonna to watch the fights together, and then we're going to pick up some soft sixes at the bar. So please, climb your titties. He's three pounds over. I mean, he's allowed to be three pounds over, considering the entire event rides on his shoulders. And that's the boxing's problem. They're not marketing enough superstars. They're not making enough superstars. When, when you look at UFC... Everyone is referred to it as UFC 300. They're not referred to it as Alex Pereira fighting uh, against his opponent. Like they, 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 they didn't have the entire event riding on one name, and that's every single event. I think boxing needs to adopt the same formula. Just make new stars. Fucking advertise new stars. But boxing's not doing that. I mean, there's so much talent on this card. And you, you don't need to make up belts and pull it out of your ass. Like Intercontinental, super lightweight, universal champion? What the fuck are we talking about here? Dude, this is insane, you know, and, and this is the same broken boxing formula. Too many cooks in the kitchen. You have enough talent in the pool. Just fucking uni unify every, excuse me, unify every single title, make a universal system, premier fighting championships, and shout out to them. They always hook me up with free tickets. And, you know, I, I love premier fighting championships. You know, make one universal championship and just call it a day. Fuck me in the beard, right? Like, it's, it's crazy. What time does it start? It's going to be starting in just about 30 minutes, and we're enjoying the co-main event of the evening. Joe Martinez, a very good friend of mine, is actually the ring announcer for this fight and this event. Be nice. Prove you're not a robot. I'm going to do the robot right now. What's the co-main event? It's Aaron Jr. fighting against Macomb. It's all right. Start in Germany. What's up, Joe? How you doing, baby? Shout out to Germany. Steve Willis in the crowd. In the, he's the referee. <laughs> Go stream on Discord from Joe. Maybe. Six Abarello. Okay, thank you, bro. Where are you from in New Jersey, man? Good talking to you, man. The challenger, 18 and 1, 5 KO. Sean McComb fighting out of Ireland. Hey, I just had a sign in this account just to tell you thank you for streaming this, man. I appreciate it. SNS Files, what's up, baby? How you doing? Love from Texas. Birdo, what's up, baby? How you doing from Texas? I was just in Texas. I was I was just in Dallas, Texas. Ooh, yo, your food fucking banging. Panty dropper. Drop more panties than a seasonal worker at Victoria's Secret, baby. Oh, my goodness. I love the food in Texas. Watching this from the Netherlands, what's up? Already started in Mars. <laughs> Troll singing the songs of my people. The Gamer Bros, what's good, brother, brother? How you doing? How's your night going? My night's going good, you know? Just relaxing, chilling like a villain on penicillin. 
Xbox 360, he says, sup, what's up, man? Woo, Johnny Cole, let's go from Australia. Gotta love Australia. Watching from France. No, what's up, baby? Yo, what's in your cup? Actually, soda's in my cup. Cannot drink. I The producer actually banned me from drinking. Can you believe that shit? Can you believe that? Boner shrinker, right? Yeah, so just rocking with some coke as we go to the co-main event of the evening. Aaron Jr. taking on Macomb from Ireland. Hey, are you Indian? <laughs> no, I'm not Indian. I'm Polish, baby. I'm from Brazil, from Magna. What's up, man? How you doing? And here we go. Co-main event of the evening, 1900. Big Dick Bands joining us. And here we go. Round number one for Aaron Jr. taking on Macomb. Calling out that measuring stick, McComb actually coming out in a southpaw position, while Barboza Jr. coming out in regular orthodox. So pulling out that jab. Nice right. Oh, nice right. Training rights right now from both these guys, Aaron Jr. and uh, McComb. Still pulling out that jab from, uh, from McComb. Pulling out that measuring stick, going to the body, going up, going downstairs, upstairs. Goes for a right hook, just misses. Gets that dodge. Right now, circling. Oh, just winging that right hand. Jesus. Outstanding. Still winging that right hand. Nice right hook from McComb. And McComb circling away from his power, circling away from Barboza's power. Barboza tried bum rushing the pocket, and McComb actually backed out, waited for him to come into the pocket, stopped short. Oh, hits it with another right. Beautiful right from McComb. 2-1 oh, uh, from McComb lands. Nice shot right to the body. More body shots than me at Rutgers University. Nice left from McComb. Still pulling out that right. Well, these guys feeling out process right now. Ten rounds of boxing for some world title that I came in fucking name. Nice left from McComb. Still circling around. Still circling around. Waiting for his a window of opportunity. Nice right, right, right from... Oh, nice hook from McComb. Great combination, upstairs, downstairs, nice hook right to the body from McComb. Christmas story cup, bro. <laughs> and McComb, oh, that's blocked from Bavosa Jr. And McComb trying to set up his opportunities. Nice left from McComb. Oh, and Bates, Bavosa Jr. right into the pocket and fires with a great left. Great execution from uh, McComb. Nice right and circles around. Use that as an exit away from the ropes. Right now, back to be against the ropes right now. Oh, a nice right from Boza Jr. A nice left from McComb. Both these guys staying in the pocket. Staying in the pocket, excuse me. Both these guys staying in the pocket right now. 3,000 big dick bands joining us right now. Both these guys training rights. Nice left and a hook. A right hook from McComb. Another right hook from McComb. Follows up with a left from McComb. Another left from McComb. Nice right hook to the body. Two, two left and a right hooks to the body from McComb. Nice left jab from Barboza Jr. Nice left hook. Right hook. Excuse me. Nice right. Producer man, cut that music. What the fuck are you thinking? Nice left, and that will end round number one. I'm going to give round number one to McComb, just saying. McComb had a great strategy. Exiting out of the pocket, his exit strategy was hitting that right hook and circling around, circling away from Barboza Jr.'s power. He has a great strategy, especially in the feeling out process. First round is usually computing the data, find out what, what weapons you got, what, what somebody has, like figuring out exactly what they bring to the table. And, you know, McComb was landing his shots and picking his shots well. I mean, more shots to the face than Paris Hilton in a sex tape in 2003. I mean, Combe did a swell job. Great job. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got the sound effects, baby. Yeah, I, I think we gotta give um, Combe round number one. Shout out to Ireland right now. 3,000 Big Dick Bands joining David Potter. The Big Dick Band of all combat sports. Join me on Instagram, David Potter IG. I have 22,000 followers. I have no idea why, but definitely follow me on IG. And here we go to round number two. Boxing Danzen Boogaloo. And here we go. Round number two. Right now, they meet at the center of the ring. 
McComb still circling around, still pawing out that jab. McComb is going to be fighting Southpaw. Very hard to deal with. If you, if you can't if you can't go inside the pocket and if you can't if you don't know your entry points, it's very very hard to fight a Southpaw, uh, especially you know on the outside. Which McC uh, Baboza Jr. is fighting clearly fighting McComb on the outside, which is a uh, dangerous game to play. A oh, nice left right left right left right from McComb. Great combination of lands from McComb. Another left lands. Another left lance from Macomb. And Barboza Jr. is playing right to Macomb. You can't skip to somebody's loo when you're fighting a southpaw. You got to engage at all times. And you got to hunt. You can't play on the outside, which is what Barboza Jr. is doing. He's picking his poison right now and fighting completely on the outside. And Macomb's just picking him apart right now. Oh, two shots right to the body. Nice left right to the head from Macomb. Another right hook, another left from McComb. Backed up against the ropes. Left, right, left, right, and then follows up with a right hook and then circles out, circles away from this power hand from McComb. Baboza trying to shoot out that jab. And McComb is against the ropes right now. It's trying to circle away. Still pulling out that jab. Oh, nice right from Baboza Jr. Nice left and a right. A left and a right from McComb. Oh, a nice left right hook from McComb. McComb still against the ropes right now. Nice left and a right. Two rights land. Still circling away. That dig and left hook right to the body. Right to the liver. Still pulling out that right jab. Still circling away. Still circling each other. Feeling out process right now. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh, my goodness. Eight piece and a soda from McComb. Oh, digging right and a left. More lefts and a rights to the body from Baboza Jr. And goes upstairs with a right hook. Now pulling out that jab. Nice one, two, one, two from McComb. And goes for a right hook. Another right hook. And circles away right from the power. Great combination put together from McComb. And this will end round number two. And these guys will brawl it out to the end with McComb against ropes. I'm going to have to give two rounds to zero for McComb. McComb's doing a great job. And we, as we have 3,500 watching the Comb Man event alongside David Potter, the biggest fan of all of combat sports, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> 22,000 followers on Instagram. I have no idea why. Why well, they're going to follow my fucking retarded ass, but you know what? Different strokes for different folks, and I appreciate every single one of you for joining me. I want to give a combo right... I want to give you a combo right there. Damon Richards, I'm not hard to find, brother. Come to Bale, New Jersey. I've been boxing my entire life, baby, and Golden Gloves winner in New, uh, in New Jersey in 2004, so come come with it, baby. A hundred on Hanley. Oh, that big old drama. Woo. That's a big bet, baby. A big bet for a big dick bandit. Let's go, baby. Hello, I'm Indonesian. What's up, man? How you doing? Risque Eferde. I can't even pronounce that, but great screen name. As we go to round number three. Round number three right now starts. And Macomb... Still circling away, still fighting in Southpaw as Barboza Jr. fighting in Orthodox stance. And now switching up his stances, trying to disrupt the timing of McComb. Going back and forth from Southpaw and from Orthodox. Oh, lands a great right. Great right from Barboza Jr. So McComb, the biggest weakness I see right now is when he's laying those hooks, he drops both hands. I think Barboza Jr., if he backs out and steps right back in and lands a, a right, you know, I, I think it could be game over. He circles his hands right away. Oh, nice left hook. Crushing right hook right to the head from McComb. N nice right straight. Nice combination put together from McComb. Digging hooks and then goes upstairs and downstairs from Baboza Jr. A nice left hook right to the head from Baboza Jr. Nice right and a left. 
from Bobosa Jr. Ducks his head. Nice and tight guard. Tighter than Tupac and Suge Knight in 94. Nice left jab. Beautiful left jab. Still pulling out that right. Still pulling out. Great left hook right to the body from McComb. Nice left, right, left, right, and then follows up with a hook and then backs right out. Nice Philly, nice Philly shell displayed from a comb, but gets tagged right on the face from Baboza Jr. with a nice right hook. And Baboza Jr. and McComb is electing to fight against the ropes. It's a dangerous game to play because you can either exit outside the right uh, outside the ropes from your right using a right hook, especially if you're southpaw, or you could just elect to go forward and keep fighting forward. And great combinations being put together from McComb. Nice left straight from Baboza Jr. Great con I love the angling that McComb is using right now. So he's constantly on the move. So he goes in the pocket, he steps right in the pocket, he lands a combination, and then he circles out either from the left or the right. And smartly, he goes away from the power hand of Baboza Jr., which is the smart thing to do, and it's the right thing to do. As 4300, Big Dick Vance joining Gabe Potter on this live stream. A oh, great left straight, great jab, great right straight, and great digging right hook from Baboza Jr. And McComb fires right back with a left right to the head. They meet at the center of the ring. Left jab from Baboza Jr. Still pulling out that right jab. Another right jab. That will end round number three. Uh, this is going to be a pretty hard round to judge. I'm going to have to go with uh, Baboza Jr. I think it's going to be two rounds to one. And everybody, please rock that vote. Rock that poll. Like I'm gonna, Some girl's going to rock my poll later. Please rock that poll of who you think is going to win between Ryan Garcia and Devin Hanley. Mr. Producer Man, do you have that poll up? Yes, I do, and uh, it looks like 66, 65% of the people are saying Ryan Garcia. There's really? Over, 65%? Over eight, yeah, over 8,500 votes are in, 66% now, saying Ryan Garcia. Well, fuck, well, fuck me in the beard. And I, I think not a lot of people, and especially the casuals, especially people that are not initiated to boxing, I, I don't think a lot of people know about Devin Hanley. I don't think the machine and the boxing machine has gotten behind. Devin, Devin is no slouch. He's no... He's no fucking joke. Devin Hanley is an exceptional boxer, but I don't think the the people and I don't think the uh, the boxing machine has necessarily gotten behind Devin Hanley. And here we go with round number four. Four out of ten. Bobos Jr. fighting McComb, and McComb still fighting on the outside, still circling away, still pulling out that right jab, pulling out that right, pulling out that measuring stick. Baboza Jr. is trying to find a nice entry point. And I think when McComb goes for that body shot, more body shots than me at Rutgers University in 2006, I think when McComb does that because he drops both hands, that's going to be a great entry point for Baboza Jr. to land that nice right straight. Nice left hook, right hook from McComb. Still pulling out that right hand. Oh, nice right hook from McComb. Still circling away. Nice right body shot. To Baboza from Baboza. Still pulling out that right. 5,600 Big Dick Bands joining us. Oh, circles away from the ropes. Oh my goodness. What a fucking fight. What a fucking fight right now. And McComb right now is straight up winning this fight. Percentage wise, will disagree with me because considering that Baboza Jr. has 24% to my math, and McComb has about 17%. Stop the cap. Trump 2024. Barry Wilkins. I can go with that, my brother. And Baboza Jr. still hunting. Pulling out, pushing up against the ropes, and Baboza Jr. still fucking trapping him. Crane that mousetrap, and oh, McComb goes left and right downstairs with digging right hooks, and Baboza Jr. is going to play that game. He's going to like, nice shell, goes right inside the pocket, and decides to go and fight and exchange and blow after blow. Oh my God! Chucking that leather between McComb and Baboza Jr. One, we got one minute left, and these guys are fighting, fighting, literally fucking chucking that lever, baby. And a right left from McComb lands right on the chin. 
and they meet in the center of the ring again. Ducks down, evading that strike, and then Baboza Jr. goes downstairs and goes upstairs. Great combination put together from Baboza Jr. Nice digging right hook. And, oh, Baboza, see, that's what I'm talking about. McComb, when he goes for a hook right to the body, that's when he drops both hands. And fucking Baboza Jr. has something waiting for him. And he landed great, cleanly, right on the chin. That's what Baboza Jr. has to do. When McComb goes downstairs, Baboza Jr. has to load up, load up, do that fucking that turn, and then fucking spin it out with a fucking right hook. And that is going to clean his lights out. I promise you. Nice digging right, right to the body. And they clinch up. This is the first clinch of the entire fight. That needs that goes without saying of how great these both of these guys are fighting right now. Mm, what a fucking fight. What a what a co-main event of the evening. 5,900 legends. Let's give them a round of applause. All these big dick bands. Right now, watching alongside with us. Oh my goodness, what legends. We're at the co-main event right now, and we're gonna go to the main event shortly. Ryan Garcia fighting Devin Hanley and rock that pole like I'm some girls gonna rock my pole later, but rock that pole of who thinks will win between Ryan Garcia and Devin Hanley. And I'm happy to be joined with you guys for this live stream commentary. Dave Pop, the big dick fan in Evolve Combat Sports, educating you, talking to you guys, talking to my people, my trolls, all my bros and hoes in different area codes. So, uh, David, uh, do you know the odds on this fight? Uh, no, I do not, good sir. Please, what would, what would you? What would you? What would you guess? It's it's pretty uh pretty one sided, really one sided. Uh, we'll go with round number five, but I, I think I'm gonna go with Ryan Garcia. David Haley is a big favorite at minus nine fifty on the money line. Ryan Garcia is plus five ninety. Well, you, fuck me in the beard. Yeah. That is absolutely crazy. That is yeah. absolutely absurd. As we go to round number number five for this fight. Nice right hook, another right hook, and a digging right hook to the body from Barboza Jr. And both these guys are Battle of Stalingrad rules, where both these guys are fucking close up, balls deep right now in the pocket, and still fires with two rights from Barboza Jr. Great fight so far. Fires out that right, fires out that left from McComb. Right, right to the body from Barboza Jr. Another right, right to the body from Baboza Jr. Another right, right to the body from Baboza Jr. And McComb trying to time it, has that right hook waiting. Baboza Jr. fighting in the regular stance and McComb fighting in unorthodox, southpaw. Nice left to the right, fired away from McComb. Nice digging right hook, right to the body from Baboza Jr. Mope says UFC clears this bullshit. Yeah, I, you know what? Boxing, the product needs, it's severely lacking a certain something. You know, it's, it's, the product is way, 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 way past due to a revamp. You know, it's still on the HBO boxing days and the Showtime days, which I can appreciate considering I'm an old fuck and I'm old and useless like Madonna's right titty. But, you know, it definitely needs a revamp. And I, I, I've been saying this since day one. We had the uh, we had the owner of Misfits on here. We had the, the owner of Danzen on my podcast. Fight World Live, number seven on Amazon's Prime, top one hundred sports fan news shows in the world. I mean, you know, we, we I talk about this all the time. How the boxing presentation needs to severely change. You know, like fuck me in the beard. We we need a we need a revamp and we need more excitement. And especially and fuck this filler. If I if I want people talking, I would rather go on here where you can go in the comments and tell me to go fuck my mother than opposed to paying $70 to watch people talking. Fuck that shit, you know? Like, I'd rather, like, put me on here and you can leave a comment, tell me how much I suck, and then, like, I read your comments. I, I'd rather do that as opposed to paying $70. I mean, the, the boxing format needs to definitely change. There needs to be, be more value to the customer and the combat sports customer in order for them to buy the pay-per-view. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean. Nice left and a right. Goes upstairs, downstairs, both these guys firing away. Both these guys firing out shots. Nice right straight from Baboza Jr. Oh, and that ends round number five. 
As we go to round number six, both these guys electing to stay in the pocket right now and just firing away, just trying to score points right now at the judges' scorecards. They they know there's no opening, and when you don't have an opening to, if you don't find a weakness or a chink of the armor or something where you can really load up and set up that that knockout punch, then why do it? Why deplete your gas tank if they're just going to cover up? You're tired, and then they fire back. So both these guys are electing to stay inside the pocket right now and just fire at will, trying to score points on the judges' scorecards. Thanks for streaming. Wah wah. Stop being a fucking legend. I appreciate it. But yeah, both these guys electing to stay in the pocket and fire out shots, fire out blows, and more shots to the face than Paris Hilton in a sex tape in 2003. So you know what I'm saying? I, mean, you know, I get it. Dylan, I appreciate you. I'm sure no anybody with half a brain would agree. I love you, baby. Thank you very much for joining me, you big dick bandit. And here we go to round number six. McComb versus Bobo's a junior. Yeah, McComb right now is winning this fight four rounds to one, in my guesstimation. And they meet at the center of the ring. Still pulling out that jab, still pulling out that measuring stick. Nice right hook. Nice left right to the body from McComb. Another left to the body. Great. 2-1, two, 2-1, one, 2-1 two, one, two, one from McComb. Nice right, left, right, left. Bobosa Jr. backs up McComb against the ring, against the, the ropes, excuse me. Nice right hook and escapes outside of Dodge. Bobosa Jr. trying to trap him, trying to create a better mousetrap, but McComb's doing a great job, especially when Bobosa Jr. commits to going inside the pocket. What McComb is doing is leading him outside the pocket, landing a combination, and then exiting to the right and circling out of the right with a right hook. It's a great strategy, and it's working. Obviously, he's winning four rounds to one. Jay Howell, this guy's actually doing a really good job. You're doing a really good job. He knows what I'm talking about. Hey, you know what you're talking about. What a, what a fucking legend. I bet this guy's drowning in bitches right now. Terrace Biggs? Please. With a name like that? Shit. Definitely. Nice right and a left from Baboza Jr. And both these guys pulling out that measuring stick right now, trying to gauge range right now with 7,300 people, fucking legends right now, watching alongside with me. Both these guys looking for an opportunity to strike. I'm telling you, for Baboza Jr., when McComb lands those body shots, more body shots than me at Rutgers University in 2006, when, Bobo when McComb drops both these hands, that is going to be Bobosa Jr.'s opportunity to strike. I'm telling you. He landed it once, and I think it was out of sheer luck, but his corner's got to be telling him something or feeding that into his ear. And when McComb commits, because, oh, nice right hook from McComb. When McComb completely commits, he drops both hands, and that's when Bobosa Jr. has to fire away with that right. And his right is loaded up right now. He's got to fucking do it. I'm telling you. It's there. And he doesn't return. Oh, my goodness. When McComb shoots that left, he doesn't drop. He doesn't put it right back to his face. He actually drops it right by his side, and he circles out. That's when Baboza needs to bait him back in and tempt him. And when both hands are dropped, that's when he has to fire. Just fire at fucking will. Please. I think Baboza Jr. is starting to see that, and that's why he's ducking down. Center body. Oh, nice right hook from Baboza Jr. He tries to duck under. He tries to circle away, but... McComb sees that coming from a mile away, just like a blind chicken porno. Never saw it coming, but they circle around and they catch each other with a, a one-two shot. And training hooks right now, training shots right now. And that will end round number six. Mm, what a great fight, baby. What a great fight. 6,800 legends right now joining me. And the main event is going to be coming up right after this. Eli says, you're the GOAT. No, you're the GOAT. Stop calling me names, good sir. Everyone at Eli. What a fucking legend. Oh my goodness. As we go to round number seven, I, I you know what? I have, I have McComb winning this. Uh, I have him winning every single round except one. So, ba -ba 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 -ba, let's go. You're a legend from Joshua Cadron. No, you're a fucking legend. Stop calling me names, Joshua. Everyone at Joshua. Big dick man. Producer man. My producer monkey. Please add that. Show that comment one more time. Show that comment, please. I want everybody to add this gentleman right over here. Look at this fucking legend. Right here. Big Dick Bandit right here. Drowning in bitches. Please, everybody, add that guy. Add his channel. He definitely knows what he's talking about. As we go to round...
Number seven? Yep, we go to round number seven. Here we go. And they both meet at the center of the ring. So pointing out that jab, Bobosa Jr. fighting in the orthodox stance, Bacom fighting Southpaw. And a check right hook from McComb. Feeling out process from both of these guys right now. Nice left. Oh, follows up. Great combinations put together, and both these guys are countering right now. Staying inside the pocket. Oh, nice right and left right to the body from McComb. Great, great left right to the body. Has a guard nice and tight, tighter than my ex-girlfriend. Tighter than Tupac and Suge Knight, 94. Great guard. Oh, nice right hook from McComb and circles away right from his power. Bose Jr. fires away. Still fires that uh, a right straight and a left jab. Still fires that combination. But McComb's hip to it and actually ducks his head and goes in and elects to go in and fires away with a clean right hook. Great digging right hook right to the body when Bozo Jr. overcommits. Nice left and a right. Left to the body, right to the head from McComb. More right jabs from McComb. Another left jab. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. McComb goes with a digging right hook, and then Baboza Jr. fires that right straight and catches him clean on the chin. That is what Baboza Jr. needs to fucking do. Still pulling out that jab. Round number seven right now, and Baboza Jr. is running out of time right now. Definitely running out of time, definitely running out of patience, obviously. He's trying to rush his opportunities. And now it's Bobosa Jr. that's against the ropes right now and fires back with a left. This is what I was talking about, where uh, Bobosa Jr. is waiting for McComb to overcommit. Another left right from Bobosa Jr. Waiting for McComb to commit because he drops his hands every single time he loads up. Nice left jab from Bobosa Jr. Feeling out process from both these guys, shooting out that two right jabs. Oh, and Boboza Jr. fires with a right straight. Nice right straight right to the body for Boboza Jr. Nice right hook from McComb. It's blocked from Boboza Jr. Nice right hook again from McComb, and he circles away, circles away from the power. Shooting out that jab, still shooting out that jab. Oh, loads up on that right hook, but completely telegraphs that right hook. And I think uh, we're going to have to give this around. Uh, oh, man, this is going to be a hard one to, to judge. I think we're going to have to give it to Arnold Jr. Just saying. If we have to give it to uh, Arnold Jr. And you know what? Arnold Jr. right now, he's down on the scorecards. He's going to have to go for the home run swing. He's going to have to go for the no knockout. But you know what? Arnold Jr., let's give him two rounds. Let's let's give him two rounds. So far, we're going to round number eight. Let's give him two rounds. It's six rounds right now, the two. Let's give that round to uh, Babarza Jr. He's more active. He landed more clean shots, more shots to the face than a Kim Kardashian sex tape with Ray J. Let's just give that round to Arnold Jr. And here we go, 6,300 legends right now. Oh, my God, but that left did strike. That left did hit right on the chin. From McComb. I mean, power shots? I mean, we can go with uh, McComb winning that round, but you no, know, I think activity and based on how many shots were landed on the face, I, I, you know, I'm going to have to go with, uh, I'm going to have to go with uh, Baboza Jr. And here we go, round number eight. Co main event of the evening. After this, will be Hanley taking on Garcia. Still pulling out that jab, still hunting down McComb. I watched that Kim K video from a nipple fiddler. <laughs> Fucking legend. What a legend. Diddy fight is Diddy fighting. <laughs> and Baboza Jr. hunting him down against the ropes right now. Referee's gonna break it up. I have no idea why, but break it up anyway. Fuck it. Still pulling out that jab. You're funny as fuck, my dude. I'll be watching you from now on, my man. Ricardo, add me on Instagram, my fucking, my, my dude, my big dick Bennett. Add me on Instagram, David Potter ID, all my bros and hoes in different area codes. 22,000 followers follow me. I have no fucking idea why, but, you know, nevertheless. 
Oh, and Bavosa switching off the southpaw. No fucking way. Well, fuck me in the beard. Nice right hook. Another right hook from Bavosa Jr. Trying to disrupt the timing. When, when people are switching stances, nice digging hooks right to the body from Bavosa Jr. Now a digging uppercut. A little bit dirty boxing. Nice loads up on that right. And now Bavosa Jr. is hunting right now. Nice digging right hook from Bavosa Jr. Nice left and a right. Left hook and a right straight from Bavosa Jr. And Baboza Jr. right now landing just about 24% of his strikes, and McComb right now landing just about 28. So McComb obviously is in the lead and obviously winning this. Mm. Oh my goodness. Nice left and a right lands straight on the chin from Baboza Jr. Joshua Cabron, you funny win. I fucking love you, man. Thank you, brother. Nice left straight. Another left and a right from uh, McComb. Nice digging right. Nice digging left right to the, the body and the head. Goes upstairs and downstairs from McComb. Back up against the ropes right now from McComb. McComb electing to do a little bit of rope and dope. Shades of Muhammad Ali. Shooting out that right. Still shooting out that right. Circling away from his power. Oh, nice left lands from McComb. Another left stick lands from McComb. Nice left and a right, digging uppercut inside the pocket. McComb's circling around the ropes right now. Pulling out that jab. I mean, you can't do that for too long. You can do that to gauge range, but Baboza Jr. doing that. Oh, left to the straight, right and right to the body, left to the head and right to the body. Letting great shots, more shots to the body right now. More shots. Both these guys trading right now in the pocket. Trading in the pocket. And we go to round number nine. Ooh, that's going to be a round for McComb. Right now, McComb is coasting. And I, I think McComb's going to walk away with the championship, to be honest with you. 7,000 legends right now watching with us. Greg Jones, what time does it start? It's going to start in two rounds, baby. Are they showing this live? Yes, sir. We are, Ashley. Oh, my goodness. We have a girl in the crowd. Shit. Surrounded by sausages. Oh, my goodness. Everyone give Ashley a round of applause. First lady to be joining us. You're like the 1%, Ashley. Thank you very much for joining us. Drop the Discord link. Paradox, who's winning? I'm going to have to. McCombs definitely going to be winning in this fight. We got 7,200 fucking legends joining us for the this official coverage of Ryan Garcia versus Devin Hanley, David Potter, the big dick bad of all of combat sports, bringing you all the action live, taking time out of my busy, busy schedule. And here we go. And happy 422, all of you legends, by the way. All you guys that are baked like a Christmas cookie, I appreciate every single one of you. And let's fucking go, baby. Round number nine. Left straight, right to the body from Baboza Jr. Well, these guys elect to meet in the pocket. Josh says, well, you, your laps are awesome. No, your laps are awesome. Stop calling me names. Nice right... You got to pivot those hips. Baboza's not pivoting those hips when he uh, goes for those right straights, which means that all of his power is not going into it. So he's not fully committing right now. And I think that oh shit light is coming on because he knows that McComb has something waiting for him. And McComb keeps circling. So every time that Baboza Jr. comes full, like literally straight forward, that's when McComb is electing to land that right hook and circle away from his power. So Baboza Jr. still hasn't made the adjustments. And he should have too, considering... All McComb is doing is fighting against the ropes right now and circling away and landing shots on the outside. And Baboza Jr. is not hunting him down like he should. He's staying right in front of McComb, who is a moving target. Complete fucking bullshit. Babo oh, okay, lands a right and a left. Okay. But then McComb fires right back with a left and a right. And Baboza Jr. is still fighting on the outside. What the fuck are you doing, man? Left hook right to the body from McComb. Oh, my goodness. Nice left and a right from Baboza Jr. And all McComb needs to do is coast. He, needs to, he doesn't need to take any risk whatsoever. He just needs to coast. You know, have a good time. 8,400 fucking legends right now in the comments. Fucking big, big fans right now joining us. All McComb needs to do is just chill out, relax, and play on the outside, and Baboza still not picking up on all of the signals that McComb 
is laying out. He's laying out plenty of opportunities. Every time McComb fires a left and a right, he drops both of his hands before returning them to his head. And, and, and you know, that is when uh, Baboza Jr. needs to fire away at that right hook that he's been loading up the entire fucking fight. It's absolute bullshit. It's killing me. See, again with the left hook, and Baboza hasn't picked up on the signals yet. It's killing me. A right hook right to the head from McComb. Still shot. I love you, brother. Shout out to you, baby. Baboza Jr., 20 seconds left in this ninth round, still just weighing outside of the pocket and just getting picked apart from McComb. You've got to be kidding me. Got to be kidding me. There's so many opportunities to strike. And as a champion, you should be picking up on every single one of them. 10 seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Oh, now they're training. Now they're training bombs right now in the oh in the center. And now we go to the last round of this co-main event of the evening for the Intercontinental Universal Super Kindergarten Super Lightweight, whatever fucking title they make up. Jesus Christ. Can we just unify all the fucking championships? It is so confusing. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Uh, WBC, WBA, The Ring. I don't know who's watching, but fuck. Unify all the championships. For the love of Christ. Jesus. So confusing. And so somebody just said, oh, we don't have to unify championships. Have you given me a spoon so you can eat my ass? I mean, we need to unify all the championships and have a universal world champion. Too many cooks in the kitchen. And again, Muhammad Ali, uh, Mike Tyson, fucking Roy Jones Jr., all these great fighters saw, okay, if I'm only going to be, if I'm going to be the world champion, I got to win all these stupid little titles from all these fucking loser promoters in order to be a universally renowned world champion. Fuck it. Just have one world championship. It's that easy. It's that simple. As we go to round number 10, I'm just ranting. Sorry about that, guys. Round number 10. And both these guys meet at the center of the, uh, the cage. Sorry about that. Yeah, and McComb is completely walking away with this. And I give it two rounds. Oh, wow. The ju judges actually agree with me. Two rounds to <laughs> two rounds to eight right now. Two rounds to seven, actually. And McComb, every time Baboza comes forward and fighting straight forward, that's when McComb backs away and then fires away the right hook, and that's when he circles around. Oh, great combination. Upstairs, downstairs, one, two, one, two, one, two from Baboza Jr., and then McComb circles right out of the way and fires out that right hook. So has him back to uh, up against the ropes right now. Fires that left jab. Oh, fires that right straight. Great head movement. Great head movement from McComb. And Baboza Jr. right now, as far as accuracy is concerned, way up in the scorecards. Like, I, like I'm doing the math right now in my head. 32% for Baboza Jr. and 24% for McComb. So, obviously, in the accuracy, we, we're going to give it to Baboza Jr. Nice right hook from Baboza Jr. Both these guys in the pocket right now. M McComb still fighting against the ropes right now. Great head movement. So firing away great combinations as Baboza Jr. is coming forward. Nice left and a right from Baboza Jr. Catches right on the chin. Nice left. Another left and another right from McComb. Pulling out that jab. Nice right downstairs and left upstairs from Baboza Jr. More left jabs. More right jabs from Baboza Jr. And that's what... Every time Baboza Jr. overcommits, McComb just backs away, just fucking loses his balls, drops his balls, and goes right against the ropes. Jesus Christ. And then fucking Baboza Jr. takes the bait. He doesn't angle him off. He goes straight forward. And McComb has a left hook just waiting for him, just like again. It's fucking bonkers. It's crazy to me. Deep, deep cut right now over Baboza Jr.'s left eye. Holy shit. 27 seconds left. More jabs. Nice digging right hooks right to the body. Upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, downstairs from Baboza Jr. Still chasing down McComb. Nice left hook from Baboza Jr. As we end round number 10. 
Ray Nichols just became a menu a member. Congratulations. Thank you very much, you fucking legend. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness, we have a new member. Everybody, smash that subscribe button like I'm gonna smash somebody's mom later. Let's fucking go, baby. Everyone, subscribe to this channel. 85 8,000 500 fucking legends joining us. Go in the comments. Tell me how much I suck. I don't know. I must be constipated because I don't really give a shit. Call me Tampex. I pull some strings. And I'll be bringing you commentary for this boxing fight with Ryan Garcia versus Devin Hanley. And if you subscribe, please leave a comment. We're going to fucking put you on blast and celebrate your good fucking name. As we end the co-main event of the evening. And by the way, Mr. Producer, what are we up to as far as uh, numbers are concerned with that poll? Uh, we are over 31,000 uh, votes. 31,000 votes? Oh, my 31, goodness. 31,000 votes. And uh, 60, still Ryan Garcia sitting at 66%. Jesus Christ. And that's so fucking weird because Devin Henley is the betting favorite in Las Vegas and betting favorite all over. Is that correct, Mr. Producer? Studio Savage, oh, yeah. actually. Oh, huge, uh, huge, huge favorite. I mean, we rarely see those type of odds in MMA. Correct. Oh, my goodness. And we also have some subscribers. Who's our new subscribers, baby? Producer. Oh, 9,400. We're up to 9,400 fucking legends right now joining us. Holy shit. Fuck me in the beard. The poll is laughable. Oh, that is, you know, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm an MMA guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm joined, you know, I'm doing this for your benefit. Especially on 420, baked like a Christmas cookie. Shit. This is the wrong day to fucking broadcast a boxing fight. But I must be constipated because I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I'm not doing it for your benefit. Ryan Davis says, Garcia's bipolar as hell. I, I loved him coked to the gills, coked out, going crazy, and fucking just on Twitter. Let's get him on a rampage, you know what I'm saying? Like, that guy needs to be examined for CTE. But not before or after he dies, because, God, I love him on Twitter. Just put him on Twitter. Just let him do that on his, uh, like, off camps. Like, when he's not on camp, just fucking just put Ryan Garcia in front of Twitter and just let him roll, baby. 10,000 subscribers. Studio Savage, I subscribe. Love the energy. Fucking everyone subscribe to Studio Savage. What a fucking goat right here. And great default picture. Uh, uh, Studio Savage obviously surrounded by bitches in his default photo. I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. But as we go to uh, the main event of the evening, 10,500 legends right now. Join it. David Potter, the big fan of all combat sports. We want to thank every single one of you as we go they are not going to give it to Poposa Jr. No fucking way. They gave him the championship. <laughs> they gave Poposa Jr. the chip. He lost every single round except two. They, give, they gave Aaron Poposa the championship. And he lost every single round. Except maybe two, I counted. Unfucking believable and we have 10,800. 10, and by the way, I'm going to take a brief one-minute break while I go to the bathroom and take care of my business. I don't want to show you guys a real live stream, if you know what I'm saying. Everyone, chat amongst the comments and rock that poll, if you will, of who you think is going to win between Ryan Garcia and Devin Hanley. I'm going to be right back in just one minute.
What's up, you fucking legends? I am back after a brief bathroom break. We have 11,000 people right now. 11,000 people joining us. David Potter, the big dick bandit of all of combat sports, getting ready for the main event of the evening. Ryan Garcia versus Devin Hanley. And we thank you very much for joining us. I'm going to go to the comments and let's read all you fucking legends. By the way, if you subscribe... Say that you subscribe, leave a comment, how much you're going to fuck my mother. I don't give a shit. I must be cosplayed. Let's go Garcia from uh, Alma Luff. We also have, guys, trust me, bet on Garcia. Yeah, it, you know what? Everybody is saying that. And that's because Ryan Garcia is a more marketable name. And he, the boxing machine has gotten solely behind Ryan Garcia. But Devin Hanley is no fucking slash whatsoever. I don't know if the match is ever going to start. Moses, right now they're talking... Uh, we, the Danzen executive right now is on the screen. We actually had him on my podcast, Fight World Live on Amazon Prime. Join me. And, and for some god-awful reason, I have 22,000 followers on Instagram. have no idea how that fucking happened, but follow me on Instagram, David Potter IG. Oh, oh my goodness. Someone says I'm going to be banned for this. Well, guess what? I must be constipated because I don't give a shit. And by the way, my name is Tampex. I pulled some strings, and that's why I'm going to bring all the action to you fucking legends. Well thousand of you legends and here we go mm. and more talking going into the main event of the evening they definitely need to change this fucking for formula so much talking so much talking ryan sleep ryan whoop his ass from emily Alvarez. raja raja indonesia what's up indonesia how you doing baby Woo. So many people in the comments right now. Michael Held, good job, fella. Yo, I love you, baby. How you doing? Praying Ryan Garcia wins that from Kingdom Life. How you doing, man? Social media, Vile. I, I can't even pronounce his name right. I, I can't either. So thank you for streaming. No, thank you, brother, for watching. I got Ryan by a right. I know this sounds. Happy 20, 420, y'all. Yo, listen, I'm baked like a Christmas cookie, son. You have no idea. I see pterodactyls right now. You know what I'm saying? I see alligators. Fucking crazy, man. Fucking crazy. This is what I don't like about boxing. Rigged ass decision to keep the undefeated record for Baboza shaking my head. Yeah, fight man. I I had that scored eight rounds to two for fucking McComb. Eight rounds to two. 1,400 fucking legends. Thank you for the chat. We have so many trolls singing the songs of my people telling me to go fuck myself in the comments. Oh, my God. It gives me a boner. Oh, my God. It went from 6 to midnight seeing these comments. Oh, my goodness. We want to thank all you guys. You guys are the most important part of the show. I'm going to read it. Of course I am. Oh, we got Poland. So her. We got Poland in the house. Fuck, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I'm Polish. How the fuck do you people watch this sport? It's basically <laughs> pro wrestling. Oh my god, Ryan Garcia is a plus 550 underdog. Wow. Wow. Jesus. Shamal uh, Australia from Shamal Ali. Asalaamu Alaikum, my friend. For 20. Hanley all day. Thank you for live streaming. Albert DePaul, thank you for watching. I mean, you guys are the most important part of the show, baby. I love all the comments. God, I love you. Swole Model 88. None of my streams work. Fuck my life. You could try uh, Stream East. I mean, that's a good one. Happy 420 shout. Second Spit podcast. Ooh, Second Spit. Hey, hey, let's try a podcast. Come on. We have a boxing podcast on here. Let's fucking shout them out. Let's, let's shout out this podcast producer. Come on. Do your job. Hello from India. Sam Lankum, my friend. Go Nugget. Go Nuggets from uh, Philippines. What's up, baby? How you doing? Reading all the comments right now. We have 14,000 people. Holy shit. We're all gathered today. Baked like a Christmas cookie. Watching boxing. This is what I'm talking about, baby. God, I love you. 15,000 people. Happy 420, y'all, from Ethan. Come on, producer. What the fuck are you doing? Post, post up some fucking comments, man, so I can read them. Producer Slacky. I'm very, very sorry, guys. Very, very sorry. BJJ, uh, Big JJ 420, baby. Oh, ah! Uh, I got one thousand on Ryan and four hundred on David from Ghost. Good man, baby. I think you mean Devin though. But you got four hundred on me. I fucking love you, man. Must be nice. Must be nice from Arif Kuzwari. 
It's fear. Tag me for the website. Of course I will, baby. Come on. I'm gonna, I, I, produce, I promote all my bros. Come on, man. You know this. And this fight's going to be over in just about 30 to 45 minutes, so I'll be hanging out with some soft sixes in precisely that amount of time. Let's go Garcia from Chris Tiny. John Carlo says, what's next? I don't know what's next. I mean, Ryan Garcia, just give him some coke, give him a Twitter, and let him just go buck wild. You know, just let him go buck wild. Just give him some coke. Uh, I'll even pay for it. Just give him some coke and just give him a Twitter account. Go, 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 go crazy on that Twitter account, baby. Nora Mora, when does it start? It actually starts after more fucking feeder and more filler. This is the biggest issue I have. Biggest issue I have with boxing. So much filler. With all this filler and all this fucking talking, we could have literally had three or four more fights. The production, the production needs to improve greatly on boxing. We're still back in the HBO and Showtime days. Fuck me in the beard. Winston Nolan, nice one, man. Thanks for streaming. Good commentary. I love you, brother. I love you. Feedback 69, keyboard champ. Baby, Golden Gloves champion, New Jersey, 2004, David Potter. And also champion, 2021 in MMA. So definitely not a keyboard uh, a warrior or anything like that. Definitely earned my stripes. I love this sport. I love combat sports since I escaped the womb, baby. So definitely broke my neck for this sport in order for uh, to bring the action to you guys. So definitely earned my stripes, baby. What time do they start from Rob Rios? Uh, it starts in just about, I would say, 10 minutes. So I'm going to read all the comments. Laundry Wilcox, our king. You're my king, baby. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Type one if you're edging. <laughs> Good comment. Hey, man, great stream from 1700 Chino. Yo, thank you very much, brother. I appreciate you. Oh, man, as we go to the main event of the evening, finally. Thank God. Oh, as we have 15,000 people, Cody Self-Improvement says this is real. Absolutely, baby. As real as my mom's titties, they are absolutely real. What's up, bro? Thank you. From OG. What's up, man? How you doing? Is your hair real? Absolutely not, man. Do you see this receding hairline? This hairline said, okay, you're 36. Fuck this shit and escaped. You know what I'm saying? So what am I drinking? Soda. Dick Diaz, shout out to you, baby. Yeah, actually, the producer, everyone yell at the producer because the producer actually banned me from drinking liquor on this podcast. So everybody <laughs> yell, at the podcast, yell at the producer for banning me from drinking liquor on any of these live streams. Allergic to parties, my friend. Allergic to parties. But I'm still here. 15,000 people. Changed my name to Tampex, pulled some strings, and I'm here bringing you the main event of the evening. Ryan Garcia taking on Devin Hanley, the main event. For this event <laughs> with Ryan Garcia fighting against Devin Hanley. And, and Devin is actually the favorite going to this fight. It's fucking crazy, man. Fucking, fucking crazy. Playboy, hello from Indonesia from Wayward. What's up, man? How you doing? I got 500 on Ryan from Playboy. What's up, man? How you doing? Hello from Florida from Deanna Ellis. What's up, baby? How you doing? We got 16,000 people here. 16,000. All legends. All legends, baby. Free Palestine from Hamas. Listen, I, I'm half Jewish, and half of me wants that shit to end. Just saying. I love all my Palestinian brothers and sisters. Just saying. What's up from Norwalk? How you doing? San Antonio, Texas from Al Gonzalez. Devin will win. Let's go. As we go to the main event of the evening. Hello from the Philippines. Yard, uh, Vasquez, I'm actually from New Jersey. Bayonne, New Jersey, baby. 17,000 people watching. Hello from San Diego, California. Hello from Dallas, Texas. Hello from New York City from Alex. What's up, man? How you doing? From Macedonia. What's up, baby? How you doing, John B? What's up, man? Hello from Iowa. What's up, Iowa? How you doing? It is starting right now. So they're, they're having a little bit of hype. They're having a little bit of hype video. Hello from Oklahoma. We got Ocaria, Florida in the house. Naples, Florida. We got South Carolina in the house. 17,000 people right now. South Dakota. Nelly Launches. Hello. What's up? How you doing, my brother? 
What's up from Salim Mohammed? Salam alaikum, my brother. Watching from New Zealand. Fayetteville, North Carolina. I'm actually going to North Carolina. Tyler, Texas. Reviews in Arabic. Love and respect. For my boy, I'm from I'm Palestinian. Respects. Salam alaikum, my brother. Half Jewish, half Christian, baby. And all of me. Salam alaikum. Let's go, Israel. From <laughs> Oh my God! Did Danza just crash? Oh my goodness! Danza just crashed! Holy shit! <laughs> Hello from Huntington Beach, California. We got Marilyn in the house. Morgan. We got Carlos Herrera, South Texas. Chuid, South Carolina. Dominican Republic. Como estás, mi amiga? Larry from New Jersey, New Jersey, New York, Strong Island. All my bros and hoes in different area codes. Eighteen thousand of you fucking legends. Oh my God, dude, producer man, producer man, fuck face. What's up? What's up, butt face? We have Danzen that actually crashed. Can you believe that shit? Oh, you got a super chat, buddy. Oh, I got a super chat. How much? How much is that? Boston here? Oh man, my God, I actually lived on a uh, Park Drive in Boston. 18,000 people watching the Big Dick Band of Combat Sports. $1.90. Oh, thank you very much, Angel Hernandez, for $2. Fucking love you, baby. If you want a super chat, you know, you appreciate, my, appreciate my handiwork on 420, baby. Pay for my weed budget. You know what I'm saying? Just give me a super chat. Throw me a super chat. I appreciate you as we go to the main event of the evening. And what the fuck? Uh, no, Omaha, Nebraska. We got Michigan, D.C. in the house. We got Denver, Colorado. Shit. Philippines, we got Mars. Memphis, Tennessee. Jose, we got Jersey in the house, baby. You got to start partying with us, man. What the fuck is going on with Danzen? Guys, you have no idea what just happened. So 18,000 people, almost 20,000 people joining us. You have no idea what just happened. But Danzen actually just crashed. Charlotte, North Carolina, Virginia in the house. We got San Antonio, Texas. We're up to 19,000 people. Oh, my God, I got a boner. It just went from 6 to midnight. Holy shit. Early, Birmingham, New York. We got Steph P. from Massachusetts. Oh, we actually have a girl? I thought it was a sausage fest. We got South Carolina. We got Lawrence from Colorado. Springfield, Massachusetts in the house. We got Minwat. We got Philippines. We got M.A. There's a producer here. Producer, can you hear me? Yep, I'm here. Okay, we got some serious problems here because the stream just crashed. So we're going to have to figure this out, baby. Oh, wait. Here we go. Wait, is it back up? Oh, my God, it's back up. Oh, my God, I got so worried. Oh, I got a boner right now. Alan met from Memphis. Oh, the stream's back up. The stream's back up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was about to go in the bathroom and give you guys a real live stream, if you know what I'm saying. Giardini. Giovanni from Michigan. Oh, look at that. He, the he looks ball. like you. <laughs> Jardini kind of looks like you, Potter. Wait, wait. Just put put the put his face over my face, please. We gotta see about this. Oh, definitely. Oh, wow. He looks like a legend. He looks like if he didn't turn his swag off before bed, he would wink, wake up drenching bitches. Yeah, definitely. I have to agree. I have to concur. Oh my goodness. Kaga stands in the house by the rules. Oh, we got. Oh, Denver, we got Philippines, Puerto Rico, Ireland. Oh, Ireland, who the fuck is that guy? Let me give you a Remy, buddy. <laughs> Troll singing the songs of my people. Let's fucking go, baby. Here we go as we go to the main event of the evening. El Salvador is in the building. Sacramento, California. We got Vegas in the house. Oh, from Fiji, Indonesia. Oh my goodness, so many legends right now. We got 20, we just hit 20,000 people watching. 20,000 big dick bandits watching right now. Everyone give yourselves a round of applause. Give you some air. Round of applause, please. Fucking legend. Give, give yourselves a round of applause, baby. We're up to 20,000 people. My name is Dave Potter, the big dick bandit of all combat sports. Follow me on Instagram. 22,000 people follow me. I don't know why they follow my retarded ass, but you know, Win a room, right? So follow me, David Potter, IG, and I follow everybody back. You know what I'm saying? So we are about to go to Ryan Garcia versus Devin Hanley. Devin Hanley is actually a two, a minus 200 favorite going into this fight. Ryan Garcia, 
somehow in some way is a plus 500 but you wouldn't ne you would never know that considering that all the boxing's marketing has been behind ryan garcia george says toronto canada we also have brisk dole from north korea oh and we got 21,000 people oh we got israel in the house we got palestine in the house we got louisiana in the house ariel hawani who has the biggest vagina i've ever seen oh my god look at that vagina look at that gaping hole ariel hawani oh scott can i tell the story about how i almost got in a fight with all ariel hawani's boys no. oh can i tell that story? no come on no come on yeah. well i got fired don't tell the story okay i won't tell the story Ariel Hawani right now working a boxing event. And by the way, how many boxing fights does Ariel Hawani have? Producer, do you know how many stories he has? How many boxing fights he has? Uh, no. Let me guess. Zero. Yep. But he played high school basketball. I mean, that counts, right? Fucking prick. Anywho, let's <laughs> interviewing him right now. Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia right now is so unhinged. So unhinged. I love him so much. Love you got another, uh, you got a super sticker from ATX. I, I got another $2? Oh my good, just making it rain, baby. Just making it rain. Oh my goodness, thank you very much for ATX1. What a fucking legend right now. Everybody, if you appreciate my handiwork, especially on 420, especially baked as a Christmas cookie, please leave a super chat if you appreciate my handiwork. I appreciate you for doing that. And right now, both these guys are 25 years old of age. Both these guys may wait, but Ryan Garcia is actually three pounds overweight. And uh, Devin Hanley is actually going to have two inches on Ryan Garcia. And I'm going to have nine inches in somebody's mom later, especially if this fight ends early. Because everyone's predicting right now that Devin Hanley is going to win this fight by knockout. And right now, what does the poll say? Mr. Producer, man. Radim Joe, what's up? DC do here. What's up, baby? How you doing? We are at, uh... oh, if I could uh, get this to work. Over 58,000 people have voted. They've let their voice 58, be heard. 58,000. 58,000. 65% say it's going to be Hyan Garcia. Oh, wow. Jesus. Antonio Wiggins says, hello from Georgia. What's up, Georgia? How you doing, young thug? Another $2. Let's go, Garcia, from Sean K. Everyone give him a round of applause for Sean K. I'm going to add this fucking legend right here. Thank you very much for the $2, baby. I appreciate it. Dave Litt. Mela Pena, Texas. I can't even pronounce that. I'm halfway retarded, so I apologize about that. And here we go. The main event of the evening. Brian Garcia versus Devin Handley. Oh, we got another $2. Oh, we didn't. That's not another $2, but we got 20,000 people watching, so I appreciate every single actually, one of you. Actually, it is another $2, but he wants oh, you to. Oh, no, it's too much. Austin, Texas, OU still sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Superb. Elite level trolling, baby. Elite level trolling. Come on. Everyone get that man the fat props. Here we go. Here we go, baby. As we go to the main event of the evening, Brian Garcia walking out to the ring right now. Hopefully coke to the gills. I love. I love Ryan Garcia. Just saying. Oh, Jeremy. Five dollars from Jeremy Harrison. Nine inches in somebody's mom. Let's give a good night, brother. Yo, I fucking love you, man. Two dollars from the real truth of power. Pixelated hippo chomps on a one up. <laughs> what a fuck. Can somebody donate five dollars? Can we please post up his comment, please? Producer. I'm working on it, man. We got a bunch more coming, so I'm working on it. Oh, oh shit. I I'm coming just thinking about it. Holy shit, you guys are fucking awesome. What a what a bunch of legends. What a bunch of legends. We got eighteen thousand right now. As Ryan Garcia walking walking to the ring with a queen's cap on or a king's cap, I apologize. And right now, who's gonna win on the fan zone? Everyone's voting for Devin Garcia. Our our polls are way off. As somebody's mom is gonna ride my poll leader, but everyone's poll is voting for Ryan Garcia, fifty-seven percent, and Devin Hanley, even though he's the betting favorite in Las Vegas. Jeez, betting favorite in Las Vegas, and still Devin Devin Hanley is not giving getting the respect that he actually deserves. Kush smoke, gun smoke. I got 1,100 on Garcia, $50,000 payout. Wow. Wow. You bet big, baby. Tony Furriton looking from Denmark. What's up, baby? How you doing from Denmark? I actually went to uh, DC for the Denmark-US uh, Christmas lighting. 
Two dollars from Chris Donnell. What's up, baby? Salty Frogs Key West. What's up, man? How you doing? Super chat, two dollars from Ken Washington. Appreciate you, baby. Everyone add this guy. Add this legend right here. Another two dollars from Ken Washington. And keep the super chats coming if you appreciate me working instead of picking up some sweet ass pussy and uh picking up some uh oh uh twenty dollars from for Dom Joe. Look at this money bags over here. $20 for Dob Joe. You got money like that? Shit. Oh my goodness. Everyone give everyone add for Dom Joe. What a fucking legend. What a legend. Jesus Christ. $20 for Dom Joe. Shout out to you, baby. This guy's got money. You can tell. You can tell this guy's a legend. Ryan Garcia is still walking out to the ring. $2 from the real truth and power. Shout out to you, baby. Let's fucking go, baby. Five dollars from Jeremy Harrison. What's up? What's going on, baby? How you doing? What a fucking legend. Keith Spencer with five dollars. If Garcia you're not, wins, you're not going to read that. <laughs> Wait, what's up? You're not going to read it. <laughs> Nine inches in somebody's mom. Oh, uh, <laughs> let's give a good night, brother. Yo, you're a fucking man. You're a fucking. What a legend. Thank you very much, baby. Here we go, main event of the evening. Ryan Garcia walking out to the ring right now. And we got Devin Hanley, the champion, walking out. Hanley's, oh, $5 for reviews in Arabic. Sal Malenka, my brother. Thank you very much. Shout out to him. Reviews in Arabic. Everybody add him. $5. Hanley, and it's not even close. Coke Boy is going down. <laughs> <laughs> says Coke Boy Coke. <laughs> Shout out to you for that fucking legendary comment. Five dollars. Uh, Hanley? Uh, am I pronouncing it correctly? Everybody, can you um, help me with that pronunciation, please? Devin Hanley? Haney. Hanley? Haney. 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 Oh, Haney. Okay. Devin Haney. All right. So, oh, 99 cents from Kalud. Thank you very much, brother. So, Devin Hanley... Devin Hanley taking on Ryan Garcia and David, Devin Hanley walking out to the ring right now. And here we go. He's actually sponsored by Amazon Prime. Uh, not Amazon Prime. <laughs> Fucking Prime the drink. <laughs> Devin Han Haney right now walking out to the ring. Everyone's getting really upset right now that I mispronounced his name. Devin Haney walking out to the ring. And who do you think who do you think's got this win, by the way, Scott? Producer man. Devin Hanley or Ryan Garcia? I'm going with uh, the odds makers. Since he was almost a, a minus one thousand favorite, I gotta really? go with them. According to really? FanDuel. <laughs> shout out to FanDuel for the odds. Shout out, shout out to FanDuel. Absolutely. And here we go. Oh, two dollars from Ashley Garcia. A thumbs up. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Oh, we finally got a lady in the co oh my god, this is this has been a sausage fest, Ashley. A sausage fest. But I appreciate you for coming on and I'm coming just thinking about it. Just say. And by the way, seventeen thousand, all my bros and hoes in different area codes with swollen lip notes and tiny chodes, add David Potter, IG. 22,000 followers, can't be wrong. Big dick band of all combat sports. Please add me on Instagram. And here we go. Devin Hen E walking to the ring. No hook shot says, I appreciate you for uh, doing the stream. I appreciate you, brother. Listen, uh, Big G, listen, I, I, I barely know English. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm doing my best here. Devin Hen E coming to the ring. Five dollars. Pure character holding his belly, laughing out loud. <laughs> What's up, man? Shout out, to you. Shout out for the five dollars. Thank you, baby. I appreciate you. And here we go, Devin Henney. I'm just gonna say Devin because everyone's getting really offended, really upset that I can't pronounce his name. Two dollars from Jose Bracero. Shout out to you, brother. Hold on one second. Hold that thought. 
Do, 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 and here we go. Main event of the evening. Devin Henney taking on Ryan Garcia. 420. Oh, we got $2 from the king, baby. Some milk. Some milk. Some milk. Some milk. $2. Alex Jones was right. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, he's going to eat more money. He's going to eat more money. Yo, you know this guy's money bags. You know this guy's got money. You know he's got money. Come on, man. This guy's got definitely money. Make it a rain later. We'll be we'll be at the bar hitting up some soft sixes in no time. And especially because the odd makers right now they have uh, Devin actually winning this fight. If Ryan Garcia loses, I lose retirement from Pokemon Shine. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Oh my goodness! Give a round of applause for everyone donating money. If you donate on uh, super chat, I'm gonna read your comment. $2 from William Ravzi, Cincinnati. Happy birthday, Kiki. Shout out, please. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to Kiki. Happy birthday to Kiki. Let's go. Shout out to you. Goddamn. Here we go. 17,000 people watching alongside with us. And we are in the ring right now. Ryan Garcia taking on Devin Henney. Devin Henney. Did I pronounce that right? Devin hey, donated... Hey. Haney, David okay. Haney. I'm halfway retarded, so I appreciate you, sir. And here we go. Funds were like, report this stream. No, listen, I changed my name to Tempex, pulled some strings, and guess what? Guess what? The stream's going to happen. So I'm sorry about that. And then I'm going to go into the bathroom and show you a real live stream, if you know what I'm saying. Here we go. Main event of the evening, Aiden, 1269. Can you please stroke your beard? I'm feeling hot. Oh, yeah, baby. We're going to stroke that beard. Everyone give a round of applause. I'm going to stroke that beard, baby. Here we go. Main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Brian Garcia taking on Devin Haney. My guy said, here we go, 20 times already. Where, Daddy, I appreciate you keeping count. I appreciate you, good sir. My boy's keeping count. We're, we're, we're on top of things. We're on top of things like my prom date in 2005. Oh, and here we go. Doing the pre-fight announcements. Haney, you can't even talk English. I already specified that, good sir. A coffee cup with the words tired from Kevin. Oh, Kelvin Matthews. What's up, baby? Thank you very much for donating $2. $5 from Keith Spencer. Garcia wins. I'll be Christian, not Muslim. Shout out to you, baby. Let's fucking go. Right now, they're doing the pre-fight announcements. Ryan Garcia. Hopefully, he's cooked to the gills. That's my favorite Ryan Garcia. That's my favorite version. There's multiple versions of Ryan Garcia. Greens from Galamala, mofo. Oh, my God. Greens from, uh, Greens from <laughs> Galamala, from Diego. Happy 420, everybody. Baked like a Christmas cookie. Five dollars from Christopher Peacock. Lemon character holding his hand in front of his mouth, grinning. Oh, Christopher Peacock! Thank you very much, brother. Thank you very much for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Five dollars from Signature Notary San Diego. Looking for the best SNSD. Thank you for the stream, Garcia, for the win. No, thank you, brother. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> fucking legend. Let's fucking go, baby. As we get ready for the main event of the evening, here we go. Main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ryan Garcia taking on Haney. See, I pronounced it right. See, I did this. And we're getting ready for the first round of the main event of the evening between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, probably pronounced that right. Sorry, I'm mildly retarded. And here we go. Main event of the evening. Ryan Garcia versus Devin. And here we go. Oh, this is going to be a great fight. I can't fucking wait. I got a boner. This just went from 6 to midnight. Holy shit. Here we go. And then me in the center of the, of the ring. Ryan Garcia goes for a left hook. And he's still circling around. 
Both these guys fighting in the orthodox stance. Brian Garcia still pulling out that jab. Filling out process from both these guys. Ryan Garcia still pulling out that jab, still hunting. Taking the center of the, the ring. Haney against ropes. Left straight, right to the body. More body shots than me at Rutgers University in 2006. Left and right goes upstairs, goes downstairs from great combination put together from Garcia. Oh! Ryan Garcia rocks him! Ryan Garcia rocks him! With a left hook! Haney is in trouble. Haney's in big trouble right now. Haney's leaning against the ropes right now. Left and a right, left and a right, right hook. Another hook from Ryan Garcia. Haney's in trouble right now. Nice right straight from Garcia. Nice left right to the body from Garcia. Right hook, right to the body. Left uppercut from Garcia. Garcia's trying to put away, put away this fight right now. Oh my goodness, Haney's in big trouble. Leaning against the rope right now, trying to get his bearings back. Holy shit. Referee will back him away after a clinch. Garcia needs to take his time right now. He already gained Haney's respect. Needs to just take a breath. Take, take a deep breath, find his opportunities, find his openings like he just did before. Haney will shoot at a jab. Garcia still stalking, still waiting. And he has that oh shit light. Just jabbing and dropping that hand as he jabs. He shouldn't do that. Nice left hook from Haney. Another left straight. Left jab, by the way. Another left jab from Haney. Left right to the body from Haney. Mariah Garcia is going to be patient. He's going to coast right now. Nice left body shot. More body shots than me in Rutgers University. And Ryan Garcia, nice and tight, tighter than my ex-girlfriend, tighter than Tupac and Suge Knight, 94. Ryan Garcia is going to wait for his opportunities. He's going to wait for his opportunities. He's going to coast right now. Just wait for another opportunity to pop itself up and, uh, yeah, take advantage of it. And Haney's still stalking. Ryan Garcia against the ropes right now. High guard. Oh, nice shot right to the body. And they'll clinch up, pushes Ryan Garcia against the ropes from Haney. And the referee will break it up. And they meet in the center of the ring again. Oh, oh my goodness. What a first round. Holy shit. Ryan Garcia definitely won this first round without question. Ryan Garcia will be up on the scorecards. Holy shit. Rocked Haney. Haney was out on his feet and just leaned against the ropes and was just coasting. Holy shit. What a fucking round. What a round. Unfucking believable. Great round for uh, Ryan Garcia. If you're betting money right now, I would bet fucking money. Put money down on Ryan Garcia. Definitely won the first round. First round, great first round from Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia is pretty much just waiting for an opportunity to strike. HD in the house from RJH. Wow, that left hook landed right on the button, right on the chin. And oh my goodness, Ryan Garcia almost dropped Devin Haney. If you betted, if you bet money on Ryan Garcia, you made a fucking smart bet. And here we go, round number two. We've got 12 rounds of boxing. Ryan Garcia still stalking. And they clinch up right now. Ryan Garcia is still a, a plus uh, plus 450 underdog. And Ryan's still stalking Devin Haney. Devin Haney trying to fight a fire back with a right straight, and Ryan Garcia had completely blocked it. Still pulling out that jab. DS Vlog, happy birthday, my brother. Happy birthday, my friend. And Garcia right now is counterboxing right now. He's waiting for Haney to overcommit, step inside the pocket, and land another brutal hook. Garcia right now, 39%. Haney threw five punches, zero fucking percent. Zero percent. And Haney completely telegraphing that hook. And Garcia saw it coming from a mile away. 
And Garcia right now stalking. Nice body shot. Nice uh, straight from Haney. And they will actually clinch up right now. Mayor Shaw went to three streams and you're the best. No, you're the best, brother. Thank you very much. Don't call me names. And Brian Garcia is going to wait for another opportunity to strike. Still circling around. And Brian Garcia is playing a very dangerous game. And he obviously has zero respect for Haney's power, considering that he's circling towards his power hand. And catches a nice right, nice right straight from Haney. Beautiful right straight from Haney. Nice straight. Right to the head, right to the body from Haney. And Haney's trying to flip the switch, flip the corner. And, oh, nice, nice jab. Another jab from Haney. And they still meet at the center of the ring with 57 seconds left. Nice jab right to the body from Haney. And Brian Garcia is trying to compute the data. Has a nice Philly shell going on. Goes for a left hook. Now has a guillotine. And they actually lock up. And the referee is going to break them away. 37 seconds left in the round. What a fucking fight. What a fight right now. Ryan Garcia is fighting a very, very smart fight. Nice uppercut. Goes upstairs, dirty boxing. Upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, downstairs with an uppercut. And also with a right hook. Beautiful round. Great strategy from Ryan Garcia. Letting Haney pretty much give him enough rope to hang himself with. Where he waits for Haney to overcommit with his shots. And then Ryan Garcia waits for a nice power shot on the, uh, on the flip side. Oh, that is going to end round number two, Ryan Garcia Boogaloo. And I have Ryan Garcia up two rounds to zero. I don't know what you guys are watching, but I, yeah, I got Ryan Garcia actually winning this fucking fight. Today, uh, so Fabian Centena, today is my cousin's birthday. His name is Dixon. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dixon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> As we go to round number three, yeah, I got Ryan Garcia actually winning this fight. Justice Estrada, nice commentary, man. No, thank you, brother. Thank you very much for watching. All the people in the comments makes this work doing, baby. And I appreciate every single one of you. Add a super chat so you can pop up on the screen so I can read all your comments and we can celebrate your good name and tell these 17,000 people to follow you. As we go to round number three. Wow, what a left hook from Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia is going to be fighting on the counter punch. He's going to be fighting on the counter. So he's waiting for Devin Haney to actually settle in and actually commit to his strikes and actually rush in and bum rush the pocket. And that's when Ryan Garcia will actually step out, step away, and then step right back in, uh, get out of dodge, and actually fire back with a combination. That That is going to be Ryan Garcia's strategy. Nice right hook from Garcia as we go to round number three. Nice uppercut, nice, goes downstairs, goes upstairs. Nice right hook from Haney. And Ryan Garcia fires back with a jab, fires with a nice uppercut and a right hook. Fires back with a left and a right and a left from Garcia, and they clinch up. Referee will break it up. Right now, both these guys are actually computing the data. Oh, and they both fire shots. Chucking that leather, baby. Referee will break it up. Brian Garcia stalking his prey right now. Haney's trying to settle in. Nice left hook from Haney. Beautiful left hook from Haney. And Garcia is still pulling out that jab. Nice overhand right hook from, uh, from Haney. Haney right now, through round number two, Haney actually had 52% in comparison to Garcia, which was 12%. And referee is actually going to give uh, Garcia a warning for shots in the back of the head. For all the girls I did, I need shots, uh, you know, a warning for shots in the back of the head. You know what I'm saying? And they clinch right back up. Referee will break it up. Crypto Chris says, thank you for the commentary. No problem, brother. Appreciate you for watching. Garcia still pulling out that jab. And then Haney fires back with a left hook. Ryan Garcia fires back. Oh, left and the right, left and right. Backs him against the rope, and the referee is going to break it up. Referee is going to give Haney a warning for shooting shots in the back of the head. Both center in the center of the ring right now. Referee is going to break him up again. Garcia's stance, nice and tight. Tighter than Tupac and Suge Knight in 94. Tighter than. 
my ex-wife right now. And right now, Danzen dropping the fucking ball. And their stream is failing and screwing the pooch right now. What is going on here? They go, they're getting really fucking dirty. What the fuck is going on with Danzen right now? Jesus Christ. you you got to be shitting me right now. Did, did Danzen just drop the ball? Jesus Christ. Producer man. Yes, I'm here. Danzen apparently is fucking up this. Uh, it crashed again. Dazen. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. That's the fuck they are called. They are dropping the ball right now. And it's really dropping my balls because I was supposed to be commentating for 16,000 Big Dick Bandits. And they're really fucking up this, uh, this broadcast. Can we call customer service? Can we tell them to suck my balls? Just keep, keep we, refreshing it until it comes up. Can we give, can we give Dan's in a spoon so they can eat my ass? Wow, they really fucking dropped. Unbelievable. This is unbelievable. This is crazy. How do you crash when you pay money for this shit? All right, we're going to we're going to fix this problem right here. Oh my goodness, here we go. Oh, we got this. Oh my goodness. Oh, we fix this. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Let me know when the round starts. Yep. Here we go. What? Please stop cursing. Uh, everybody guess the, the color of this guy's mom's panties because they're going to be removed from my mouth later. Winner will get $100. Please stop cursing. $500. Coke Bowie is going down from... <laughs> Wow, what what a great round. What a great round. And I'm just doing fucking... Oh, Ryan Garcia got rocked. I just saw that. You gotta let me know when it starts. Uh, round number four is about to start. Don't start the clock, man. Hey, here we go. Round, of, not, round number four. Yeah, Ryan Garcia got rocked in that round. And now Haney has his bearings back and actually made the necessary adjustments. And now Haney's going to be on the attack the entire fight. Nice left or right. Nice combination put together from Ryan Garcia. And now they clinch up again. Referee's going to break them up. Oh, great right hook from Haney. Nice left straight, overhand right from Haney, and they will clinch up again. Two minutes left in the fourth round. Nice left straight right to the body from Haney. Haney's got his back. Oh, nice jab right to the head from Haney. Oh, that's great. So Haney right now is letting Garcia throw the first strike, and he's stepping right in, and he's actually firing back with combinations right when Garcia commits. Nice left straight. Nice left hook from Haney. Another one right. Oh, right. Garcia is hurt right now. Dirty boxing. And they're going to break it up. Great strategy from Haney. Haney made the necessary adjustments in the third round going into the fourth round. And referee's going to give him a warning for some uh, dirty tactics. Oh, nice left hook from Haney. Oh, nice. Right hook and a left hook from Ryan Garcia. And they'll clinch up once again. Referee's going to break it up. And they engage once again in the center of the ring. Left straight. And Ryan Garcia, his oh shit lights are going... They're literally lighting up the entire arena. And right now, stalking his prey. Stalking Ryan Garcia. Why is Ryan Garcia firing from so far away? Fired a right straight from literally a mile away. Ryan uh, And Haney fires a jab right to the body. Haney doing great feints right now. Another straight to the body from Haney. And Ryan Garcia is reacting to all of Haney's feints. Obviously, he's giving Haney way too much respect right now. 
and tries to fire a right hook, and Haney doesn't bite into the bait. Ryan Garcia is fighting way, way, way on the outside right now, circling around, and Haney is just stalking his prey, just waiting for a fucking opportunity to land that Sunday punch. And Ryan Garcia right now is against the ropes. Ryan Garcia is still against the ropes. Haney's just stalking his prey as we go to the end of round number four. Nice left straight right to the body. I'm going to have to give this round. Round number four, I'm going to have to give it all Haney. Haney definitely won this round. Ryan Garcia on his back pedal, on his bicycle, just running away from Haney. I think he got a taste of Haney's power. And he's now fucking, now the hunter has become the hunted. And now Ryan Garcia is in big, big trouble. That was all, all, all fucking Hangley's round. Garcia's not rushing for a reading. Uh, oh, so MC Judilla has uh, 3-1 Gar uh, Gar Garcia. They're kissing right now from Angel. <laughs> Just wait. Haney wins from Alda. Lay P. Ryan, let's go. Wow, what a fight. What a fight right now. And here we go, 17,000 Big Dick Bands. Everyone give a round of applause to all you fucking legends. As we go to round number five of this 12-round bout between Haney and Ryan Garcia. Here we go. Round number five. And they meet in the center of the ring again. Haney, great feints right now, giving Ryan Garcia different looks. Nice jab right to the head. Right. Uh, and he's going upstairs, downstairs. Great feints. Ryan Garcia, keep him guessing. Ryan Garcia committing way too much in that uppercut. And Haney steps right in. Every time that Garcia overcommits, Haney stepping right into the pocket and clenching up and landing his shots. Oh, nice left hook. Digging left hook from Haney. Still stalking, stalking Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia circling from the left and the right. Trapped against the ropes right now. Nice jab right to the body from Haney. Garcia pauses out that jab and tries firing that right, right straight, but completely over telegraphs. Just telegraphs that shot, and Haney just ducks under and clinches right in. Oh, nice right hook from Haney. Lands right on the chin of Garcia. Circling around Garcia, still stalking his prey, still circling around Garcia. Haney, nice right hook right to the body from Haney. Haney with a nice right hook, and Garcia blocks that. Nice left hook from, from Haney. Holy shit, what a fight. Yo, I'm on, uh, yo, I'm anxious right now. Holy shit, went from 6 to midnight. Oh, nice right, nice left straight right to the body from uh, Haney. And Haney is still stalking his prey right now. We're in five rounds. I have Haney winning probably three of them. If, if, if I'm going to be generous, I, I have Haney winning all three, uh, with three rounds of two probably, especially with this round counting. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to uh, score it. Oh, nice right straight. From Ryan Garcia, and then Haney will actually clinch up, back up Ryan and Garcia against the ropes, and now they're going to clinch up. And they break it up. They meet in the center of the ring again. Ryan Garcia against the rope right now, circling, trying to find a good exit point. Oh, nice. Loads up. Haney loads up on that right, but then Garcia smartly gets right at Dodge, ducks his head, and they clinch up again, and the referee is going to break it up. And... Put him back in the center of the in the ring. Oh, nice left hook from Haney. And Ryan Garcia still circling, still working angles right now. And that will end round number five. Very slow pace, round number five. Not only, these guys are not taking chances whatsoever. Two dollars from GY. Thank you very much, Garcia. Thank you very much for donating. By the way, donate to the Super Chats and you will pop up. I will have your comment popped up on the stream. Very, for this 420, even though I'm baked as a, as, as a Christmas cookie right now, for, for this fight, very slow pace. Uh, you know, besides round number one and round number three, where Ryan Garcia obviously won round number one with that huge, huge, oh, $2, great commentary, really enjoyable to listen to. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. 
Mr. Shy, thank you very much. And Mike Tyson's in the crowd. Holy shit. He's going to be fighting uh, Jake Paul. And they took away, they took away Mike Tyson's weed. Mike Tyson's going to murder somebody. Just saying. He's going to murder people in the crowd. Everybody should be fearful for their lives. They took away Mike Tyson's weed in the preparations for his fight with Jake Paul. And Roy Jones Jr., a fucking legend, shout out to him, actually hung out with him and Antonio Tarbert at a Jake Paul versus uh, Tyron Willie fight in Florida. And here we go to round number six. And they meet in the center of the ring again for round number six. Ryan Garcia runs, lands a right, nice right hook. More hooks. Left, right, left, right, right to the body. Upstairs and downstairs. Another right hook. All night, great combination from Ryan Garcia. Starting to open up right now. Gar Garcia trying to end this fight. Garcia trying to end this fight. Trying to blow his load right now, but Haney is just covering up and not taking the bait. Not trying to engage. Not trying to make stupid decisions. Haney just puts his guard up. Nice and tight. Tighter than Mike's girlfriend. Tighter than Tupac and Suge Knight 94. And doesn't take the bait. He is not going to engage. He's going to be patient. And Brian Garcia right now, a little bit winded from that, that exchange. And they will clinch up again in the center of the ring. Ryan Garcia is still circling around. Still gets the ropes. Oh, goes for a big left hook. But Ryan Garcia sees it from a mile away. You can't over tele telegraph those type of strikes. And Ryan Garcia holds out that measuring stick. More lefts right to the head from Haney. And backs up Ryan Garcia right against the ropes. We've got six more rounds to go. Garcia looks a little bit winded, if, if I can say so myself. Looks a little bit winded on the tired side. 18,000 big dick bands watching alongside with us. Nice jab from Haney. Oh, digging rights right to the body from Haney. Why would the referee separate that? What the fuck are you doing? And I, I think Haney sees the writing on the wall and sees Ryan Garcia so tired. And I think that's why he's going to the body and doing more body shots than me at Rutgers University in 2006. Philly Shell, nice and tight from Ryan Garcia. And Haney digging shots right to the body, going right for that gas tank with 57 seconds left in the sixth round. Jab from Ryan Garcia and still circling around. More hooks right to the body. I have a, a people are asking who I got winning. I got four rounds of two for Haney. Still giving different looks. Haney still stalking his prey right now. Ryan Garcia is against the ropes right now on his back pedal. Still circling around, still moving, still ducking and dodging. Yeah, Devin doesn't have to take any unnecessary risk right now because even though he got rocked in the first round, he is clearly winning in accuracy and he's winning in, the, in activity and also controlling the center of the ring, controlling the pace of the fight. Right now, Ryan Garcia is skipping to his loo right now. And Devin is still controlling the center of the ring. I'm going to have to give round number six. I'm going to give it to uh, to Devin right now. Devin right now is winning this fight, I would say, four rounds to two. So I would, you know, that's that's pretty much my guesstimation right now. I think uh, Devin Haney is in complete control of the fight. And uh, Ryan Ryan had that one outburst, but, you know, it was unfounded. You know, it didn't do much to change the course of the fight. What a fight, though. I, I, got, I got Devin winning. I got Devin winning this fight. Great fight so far, though. I, 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 can't, I can't give any disrespect to any of these fighters. Both these guys are laying on the line. Both these guys are picking their shots. It, it's an educated chess match between two specialists. Great fight from both these guys. Can't, can't, can't take anything away. $5 from Tyler. I win five grand. Garcia win. Let's go. Five dollars for Tyler. Love you, brother. 20,000 big dick bands right now joining us as we go to round number seven. I got Haney winning this fight. Four rounds of two. And here we go. Round. We got round number seven right now on deck. Oh, nice right straight from Devin Haney. Nice uppercut and a clinch up. 
from Garcia. Ugh. Nice jab right to the body. And Ryan Garcia fires right back. Nice left hook blocked from Haney. Another left hook, left hook, and then Haney ducks right under, and they clinch right back up. Oh, great combination put together from Garcia. And Garcia, oh! Garcia runs Haney! Haney is down! Haney is hurt! Haney is hurt! Haney is rocked right now. And Ryan Garcia smells the blood in the water, trying to finish his fight. Another left hook. Another uppercut from Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia trying to end this fight. Haney is holding on for dear fucking life. And why would the referee call a timeout? What in the fuck? They're gonna give they're gonna take away a point from Ryan Garcia. No, they're not. Okay, thank God. And Ryan Garcia trying to end this fight right now. Ryan Garcia fucking hit Haney right to the deck, and Haney's in trouble right now. Haney is now back in the side. Now he's backing up. Oh, Haney! Haney's shooting for a double-A takedown. That's how, that's how rocked he is right now. Garcia is taunting the crowd right now. Haney is rocked right now, my friends. A nice right, nice left. Nice left, lefts and rights from Garcia. Nice uppercut. Ryan Garcia. Oh, Haney drops again. They're not going to call it a knockdown. Haney's in big trouble right now. Garcia is trying to end this fight right now. 56 six seconds left. Plenty of time to work. Ryan Garcia it's just trying to fucking end this fight right now. Nice right. Another right. And Haney is still on wobbly legs right now. I I think I I, I think two dollars buckle up from Chance Peters. What's up, baby? Thank you very much for the two dollars. Twenty six seconds left, and Garcia is still stalking Haney. Nice uppercut. Backs him against the ropes. Nice right, right hook from Ryan Garcia. Haney's in trouble. Haney's in big trouble right now. And this will end round number seven. Wow, the tides have turned, my friends. Hey, lover, I love the enthusiasm you have. Thank you very much, brother. I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, my God, we got two chats. Fuck yeah. Legends. Garcia might win by decision from internal gaming. Yeah, the tides have completely shifted in the favor of Ryan Garcia in a matter of one round. Wow. And I, I could I could make the argument. Big Hog Bandits in the chat. Big Dick Bandits. Juicy Slime, baby. Shout out to you. I could make the argument that that would be a 10-7 uh, round for Ryan Garcia. I could make the argument. Wow. What a fucking round. Ryan Garcia turned around the entire course of the fight. Within one round. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. Fuck me in the beard. What a fight. And Haney is still coming out of the corner, still rocked. Wow, I thought I was rocked considering it's 420, but we're, we're round number eight. And Haney's still on his back pedal. Wow, the tides have turned. Here we go. Round number eight. Nice left and a right from Ryan Garcia. A 2 1 2. From Ryan Garcia. Oh, and that's right. Yeah, and Haney is winning every single round. They're going to give... Wow, they're going to give round 7 a 9-8 round? That, that's fucking ridiculous, but okay. Sounds good. But Ryan Garcia right now is down 4 rounds to 2. Or three, uh, 4 rounds to 3. Oh, and Ryan Garcia lands another right hook. Another left hook from Ryan Garcia. What a fight. What a fight. Two, two minutes left. It's eight rounds out of 12. Nice left jab from Haney. And right Garcia lands another right hook right to the head. 
And Haney, what he has to do in order to recover. Oh, and Ryan Garcia, is he rocked right now? He just he's covering up. And it'll clinch up right now. Ryan Garcia might have blew his wad trying to finish that fight in the seventh in the seventh round. And now Ryan Garcia, now the tides have turned. Well, now Haney is gonna be stalking Ryan Garcia. Now Ryan Garcia is circling. Oh, nice left hook from Haney. And they clinch up right against the ropes. Wow, what a fight. What an incredible fight. Left straight, a nice left hook right to the body, and they will clinch up again. Wow. You know what? I got this uh, four rounds of three for Haney. Nice left hook from Haney. Now Haney has fully recovered, and now Ryan Garcia right now on his back pedestal. Nice right straight, and they will actually cover up, and they'll actually clinch up, and referee will break it up. And they'll clinch up once again after a brief exchange. Both these guys meeting in the center of the ring right now. Pulling out that jab, using that measuring stick. Garcia will be circling away, using the ropes as leverage. And he shoots for a right. Ryan Garcia, oh, shoots that nice right. Nice right hook from Haney. And they'll clinch up. Referee will break it up. 23 seconds left in round number eight. Right hook right to the body. Another right hook, and they'll clinch up right again. Great. Great combination. Haney needed that combination to take back round number eight. 20,000 Big Dick Bands right now joining me. All my bros and hoes in different area codes. Two rights. Right, right to the body from Haney, and the referee will break it up once again. Both these guys clinch up. And that will end round number eight, all you fucking legends. 20,000 people in the comments. And by the way, all my bros and hoes are different. Fuck me in the beard. If you guys like this commentary, please add me on Instagram, David Potter, IG, David Potter. No relation to Harry. I, as in India. G, as in go fuck yourself. Whoever made that comment to go, that this commentary sucks. Uh, $5 from Frank Rodriguez. Oh, pure character. My drop. Nice commentary. Thank you, Sean Williams. I appreciate you. But add me, and I appreciate you, all you big dick bands. Video game controller, post trial, the words, critical hit, ace. Oh my god, three dollars from your bat, 21. And, and we go uh, around number shout five. out to all four of those guys. This was their first super sticker, so you popped their super sticker really? too. My mans, my mans, pots and pans. Let's go. Round number nine. And the tides have shifted yet again in Haney's favor. Nice left hook from Haney as we go to round number eight. Oh, round number nine. Sorry about that. And Ryan Garcia right now fighting on the outside. Trapped against the corner. More digging shots right to the body. Garcia still on his back pedal, still, still running away from Haney. Haney is fully recovered right now, especially from that scary round number seven. Which Haney could have been dropped. Oh, nice left jab. And Ryan Garcia will actually duck under and catch a right hook for good measure. Haney, right, great left, two left hooks from Haney, and Ryan Garcia will get a guillotine type clinch, and the referee is going to break it up. And they'll be in the center of the ring right now. Ryan Garcia on his back pedal, running away from Haney. Digging right, more rights right to the body. And referee's going to bring it up once again. One minute left. Ryan Garcia with two left hooks. Five rounds of three right now. I have it for Haney. Another left hook. And Garcia's going to clinch up right when Haney overcommits. Another left hook from Haney. And Ryan Garcia is going to clinch up again. And goes for a right hook, and he ducks right under and goes right for the clinch. Backs up against the rope. Referee is going to break it up. Still circling around the K is the ring. Sorry about that. I'm used to commentating on. Oh, nice right hook. Great right hook. Right now, so the percentile right now is Garcia is at just about 39% of accuracy in round number eight, and Haney is about 32%. So Garcia in the accuracy range is definitely. 
winning this fight and also throwing more shots. Referee's going to break it up once again. Still picking his shots. Nice left hook. Another left hook. And round number eight. So Jab's thrown right now. Haney is at 50% while Garcia is at 17. So plenty of variables to look at. A nice, nice uppercut. Nice lead uppercut from Garcia. Haney picking his poison, bum rushing the pocket, and then, oh, nice digging rights. More digging rights right from Haney. Oh, nice right and a left right upstairs. Nice right and a left hook from Garcia. Nice right hook. Another right hook from Garcia. Another left hook, and they'll clinch up once again. 21,000 fucking legends right now. 10 seconds left in round number nine. We got two more rounds to go. Uh, I might have to give this round to Garcia. Wow, what a fight. What a fucking fight. I might have to give this round. We got two more rounds to go, ladies and gentlemen. I, I might have to give that round to uh, to Ryan Garcia. Wow, fucking crazy, man. Crazy. What a fight. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Super chat. Oh, Juicy Slime. Best com commentary. Fat hog for life, you big dick bad. Juicy Slime. Everyone at Juicy Slime 99. It is fucking legend right now. $2? Another $2? Shit. Oh, we got $5 from Casey Bailey. Lemon character moving his head from left to right with his mouth wide open and red hearts in his eyes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Casey. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm going to have to give that round uh, maybe to Garcia, but mm, I don't know. It's pretty even at this point. So More right hooks right to the body. Jesus Christ. Rest in peace, Joe Rogan, by the way. And here we go, round number 10. And we got three more rounds. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm basically a Christmas cookie. It's uh, 420. So I apologize for that. Happy 420, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Round number 10. And Ryan Garcia opens up with clinching up with, with Haney. That's discouraging. Nice right hook. Nice left hook from Haney. And Haney's going to win that round. Yeah, right now it's uh, three rounds for Garcia, and the rest are going to be for Haney. So Ryan Garcia is going to have to... Oh, nice right and a left hooks. More rights and a left. Oh, and Haney drops. Haney drops again. Haney rocked. Haney drops again. Ryan Garcia trying to put an end to this fight. Ryan Garcia trying to put an end to this fight right now. And now Haney is backing up again. Backs up against the rope. Nice right hook from, from Ryan Garcia. And they will clinch up again. Haney is holding on for dear life right now. And the referee is going to warn both of these guys. Referee, fuck off. Give me a spoon so you can eat my ass. Get the fuck out of the way. Let him fight. Pussy. Fucking bitch. Oh, two. Oh, now Haney, Haney's on the, uh, on the offensive. $2 from 21. Thank you, baby. He was wanting to know if you could give total punches land in, in each round, if they have that information. Absolutely. So uh, Haney is absolutely winning that, that exchange, and especially with accuracy is concerned. Winning on both fronts. So winning as far as punches thrown and accuracy, Haney is going to be winning on both fronts. But Ryan Garcia right now, holy shit, dropped Haney in the 10th round. Great left, lefts and rights, and Ryan Garcia angles him right off. Nice left hook. Another right from Ryan Garcia. Nice left hook. And Haney stumbles away. Another right. Left rights. Left rights from Ryan Garcia. Another right hook. Left uppercut. Right uppercut. Haney's in trouble. Haney's in trouble. Ryan's going for the kill. And they'll clinch up again. Haney is holding on for dear life right now. 40 seconds left in the 10th round. Oh, nice right hook. Another right hook from Ryan Garcia. And they'll clinch up again. Garcia has to go for the Sunday punch. He has to go for the knockout.
And Garcia is exhausted right now. More digging shots, more digging lefts right to the body from Haney. 10 seconds left as we go to round number 11. Wow, what a fight. All right, we're going to round number 11, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to have to give that round to Ryan Garcia. Wow, what a fight. Crazy fight. 24,000 big dick bands right now. 8 and 12, 69. Can you please stroke your beard? I'm feeling hot. I'm going to stroke that beard for Aiden. By the way, 24,000 people in the fucking comments and chat. All oh, you fucking legends. All my bros and hoes in different area codes. Please, get me with that. Or you load up your comment. David Potter here. Follow me on Instagram, David Potter, IG. 26,000 people. 22,000 people follow me. Can't be wrong. I have no fucking idea why, but Haney dropped to one knee in that round. Wow. So, so far, Ryan Garcia has dropped Haney three times in this fight. Holy shit. Three round, I got seven rounds of three right now. I have to agree with somebody in the comments right now that, that called it. Yeah, seven rounds of three. Ryan Garcia has to go for the knockout. Round number 11. And they clinch up once again. Ryan Garcia is circling. Haney right now has the center of the ring. More digging right shots right to the body. Ryan Garcia. God, I love coked out Ryan Garcia. He's the fucking best. CTE Ryan Garcia. Infinitely the best Ryan Garcia. Nice lefts and rights from Ryan Garcia. Pause out that jab once again. Still pulling out that jab. Nice right straight from Ryan Garcia. Haney's in trouble right now. Nice left hook. Oh, oh, Haney's in trouble right now. Haney's rocked right now. More shots to the face in a Paris Hilton 2003 sex date. Ryan Garcia is staying nice and tight, tighter than Mike's girlfriend, tighter than Tupac and Suge Knight 95. One minute and 30 seconds left. Rest in peace, Joe Rogan. Haney fires back with a left of his own. One minute and 30 seconds left. Holy shit, what a fight. What a fucking fight. What a fight. Pulls out that left jab. Haney's a little bit rocked. He's trying to beat. Oh, nice right straight from Garcia. And they'll both clinch up again. Oh, nice right straight from Garcia. And Haney's hurt right now. Oh, Haney's dropped. Haney's dropped again. Oh, and Haney will answer the count of eight. And Ryan Garcia trying to put an end to this fight. Haney almost dropped outside the ropes. <laughs> Referee's going to break it up. That's four times that Haney's been dropped right now in this fight. We got 26,000 fucking legends. Big dick bands right now. Ryan Garcia just winning for the opportunity to strike. 26,000 people watching alongside with me. And Haney's hurt right now. We got 23 seconds left. If you're ex my ex-wife, 23 seconds is all you need, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, and Haney's in big trouble. Oh, great dirty boxing. Clinches up, upstairs, downstairs, as we go to round number 12. Last round of the fight. Got to give it all to Ryan Garcia making that comeback. And just like a blind chicken in a porno. Haney never saw this coming, baby. Because right now, oh, four dollars. Great commentating. Where well done from Frank McKenna. Thank you, a fucking legend. Everyone, add Frank McKenna. Thank you very much, my friend. Wow, wow. What a Omar. Thanks for the commentating, bro. No problem, bro. We look the same from Jordan Giovanni. Oh my God, we absolutely look the same. We absolutely. We're probably drowning in pussy right now. We got to turn our swag off before bed. We might die of drowning in pussy. Me and J Jardine Giovanni, shout out to you, big. Thank you very much. Yeah, so, oh, my God, that left landed flush right on the chin. Wow. Will they let Ryan win by decision? That's a very, very good, very, but Ryan Garcia dropped him like five fucking times. $30 from Omar. Wow. Thank you very much, brother. 
Last round, 12th round, ladies and gentlemen. And Ryan Garcia's got to put an end to this fight. He's got to put an end to this fight. Goes for a great combination from Haney. R Ryan Garcia backs right out of Dodge. Yeah, and right now I have this fight scored. And they have this scored. And Garcia so far has four rounds out of the supposed 12. I don't know what these guys are looking at, but you, you dropped five times. Haney dropped five fucking times in this fight. Nice left hook. It was blocked from Haney. Nice digging left hook telegraphed from Haney. Referee's going to break him up. Meet in the center of the ring right now, both these guys. Nice left straight right to the body from Haney. And Ryan Garcia still circling around. One minute and 50 seconds left. Two dollars from Jose. Thank you very much, brother. I appreciate you, Jose DeSillis. Gracias, mi amigo. And they'll clinch up once again. But does Ryan Garcia win? Are they going to give Ryan Garcia the decision, considering that he dropped Haney? Dropped more times than a fucking mic at Donald Trump rally. Two, two hooks right to the body from Haney. 27 fucking big dick bandits. 27,000 big dick bands right now watching alongside with me. Nice uppercut. Nice uppercut again. Brian Garcia, Ross, Haney. What are you talking about? I love Dane, uh, Devin. What are you talking about? And then clinch up. Oh, nice right. More more hooks landed. Another uppercut from Garcia, and Henny will actually clinch up with Ryan Garcia, back up against the ropes. Garcia still circling around his play. Probably 50 seconds left on the clock. Henny still circling around his play. Nice jab from Haney. Garcia still circling. He has to go for that Sunday punch. He has to go for that home run knockout. Because Ryan Garcia right now is losing on the judges' scorecards. I'm telling you that right now. Oh, nice right hook. Nice left hook from Ryan Garcia. Nice left hook from Haney. Ryan Garcia still pawing out that jab. More jabs landed from Garcia. Another jab landed from Haney. Ryan Garcia dancing a little bit. 17 seconds left. Nice left hook. Lands again. Ryan Garcia still taunting him. Still dancing. Doing the shimmy. Doing that little shimmy. You gotta love it. 28,000 fucking motherfuckers watching alongside with me. Nice jab. Oh, Garcia. Sir, stick it out that tongue. And we go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. 28,000 legends joining us. Last minute for Super Chats, ladies and gentlemen. If you appreciate my handiwork. And by the way, smash that subscribe button like I'm going to smash somebody's girl later. Four, five dollars from Marcus Vasquez. Team Ryan, let's go Garcia. Five dollars from Marcus. Thank you very much, brother. I appreciate you. Happy 420, everybody. Two dollars from Sarah Vat. Great job, bro. You the fucking man. And I have no idea who's going to win this fight, ladies and gentlemen. But just like a blind chicken porno. Fucking. Devin never saw it coming, Devin. One dollar from Giselle White. Thank you very much, my friend. Everyone add Mr. White. Two dollars from Ezekiel Rays, a microphone. <laughs> Mr. Rays, thank you very much, my brother. We'll see who's going to win this fight. We'll see if Stephen Wonder. Five dollars from Ali Garcia, switch trainers. He's for mon fundamentally sound now. Thank you very much for the super chat, Ali. I appreciate you, my brother. What a legend right over here. I wonder who's going to win this fight. $10 from ER. Cucumber sometimes tastes better than pickles. That's what's happening with <laughs> Elite level trolling from ER. Everyone add this bad motherfucker right here. Who is good? $2 from Alexander. The sexual stuff is cringe. Please stop. It never been. Everyone, so guess the color of Alexander's mom's panties. They're going to be removed from my mouth later. Right answer when I'll give somebody and donate somebody. $50 through uh, Cash App. Everyone gets the color of Alexander's mom's panties. $5 from Del Militia Man. Hippo character repeatedly points to the streamer while chanting, Get good from Del Militia Man. Thank you very much, brother, for $5. Here we go. Who, who is going to win this fight by decision? $5 from Sonny Steinberg. Garcia, shout out to you, my friend. Thank you very much for the $5. I appreciate you. 
and who is going to win this fight by decision. We got red, we got green, we got white. Everyone knows the color of this guy's mom's panties. Wow, Alexander. $2. If Garcia wins, you can spread them from me. <laughs> That's great. I don't know, man. I don't know who wins this fight. I don't know who wins this fight, man. Here we go. Who is going to win this fight by decision? All right, we're going to go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. Here we go. Ryan is from the hood from Tomas Cordova. Shout out to you, brother. All right, who's going to win this fight by decision, everybody? Shh, shh, quiet. Listen. Are they going to do a fucking draw? Let's see. They gave it to Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia wins this fight by decision. Majority decision, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Ryan Garcia wins this fight by decision. If you bet money on Ryan Garcia, leave a comment. Ryan Garcia wins this fight by decision. Wow. Unfucking believable. What a fight. What a fight. Ryan Garcia wins this fight by decision. How does that and happen? And by the way, how does that What's happen up? when he's down when he's down on the scorecard so much? Well, it, it comes down to accuracy too, because you might have been winning the rounds, but if you're more accurate and you land more, that the judge's scorecard means dick, especially like any type of analyst or any type of bullshit like that. If you drop a guy, it weighs heavily on the judge's scorecard. Plus accuracy. If you so if you throw punches with purpose, and, and my my coach is back in the day. Shout out to Pal Boxing and Hackensack. If you throw punches with purpose, which are typically power shots or shots that land into the body or land a clean flush on the head, if you land punches with pur purpose and you have more accuracy, it's going to weigh heavily more on the scorecards, uh, despite the fact that you might be controlling the center of the, the, the ring or you might be shooting more punches. So, yeah, based on accuracy and based on knockdowns, Ryan Garcia wins this fight. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. And we had 27,000 people watching alongside with us. And by the way, Shout out to all you guys. And with this live stream, we've been doing this for quite some time. You guys are the best part of the stream. We do this together. We're entertaining the folks at home together and bringing the sport of combat sports to all you motherfuckers. And everyone in the comments, all you big dick bands, all my bros and hoes in different area codes, follow me on Instagram. And also, do the stream. We do it every single month. I love every single one of you guys. You guys, it, we're co-hosts. You in the stream, we do this together, and we're taking over the game, baby. We've been number, we've been number one in the combat sports world for about what nine events, ten events in a row, uh, in a row. Holy shit! Just won five k from Tyler. Shout out to you, my friend. But you guys are what makes the event, what makes the event. We're the underdogs in the game, baby, and we are beating everybody in the fucking in the space. And it's all thanks to you guys, and I appreciate every single one of you. So. All my bros in different area codes, the Swamp Lip Notes and Tiny Shows. Steven, shout out to you, my friend. We thank you very much for joining us. $5. Her panties are black like her soul. Something she passed on Alexander. Shout out to every single one of you. Thank you very much for joining us. We will be back. $4 from Straight Facts. Love you, my friends. Great panties from Livia Rose. We'll see you next time. Tune in and smash that like button if you like my handiwork and follow me on Instagram. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you very much. And we'll see you next time for the live streams. Peace.
just calling to say I... to say I...